down, Beavis.
Disclaimer, this video, like all videos featured on this channel, is definitely intended for mature audiences. This video is likely to contain profane language. Content is inappropriate for minors. Video is not for kids. Welcome to the Dr. Green Dumb Show. Not an Fucked up the shape. Whoa! Oh. That deserved it right off the bat. It deserved it. <laughs> Ooh, we, it's the Dr. Green Thumb Show. Hello, uh, live on <laughs> live on Twitch, Discord. Um, what else? YouTube. Man, <laughs> say, all sorts of explicitives. I'm Dr. Green Thumb. Hello. It's Friday, high day. I am high as a ma. All right. And to my right, someone else is who's high as fa, DJ C minus. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, man. Happy last Friday of 2022. And I could tell you who's even more high as fa. <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> iconic one, Eric Big Drum Bobo. Look at <laughs> AKA, I barely got my eyes open. Hey, I'm <laughs> call me Stevie see. Wonder. Yeah. I can't see. I'm blind. Bobo Wonder. Uh, uh, eat, mofos. In the treehouse, we got Bolton, Blombo, and Bra Bra. Happy Strong Friday. It is a strong Friday, because speaking of the strong, Hell tank, yeah. tank Tone is in the building. <laughs> Same team. <laughs> Same team. Word up. We have made it to the end of this calendar. That's right. And the Concentrate King is in the building. <laughs> there you go. Caught it right on time. That's right. Did I do good, Pop? Yeah. Good job. <laughs> Last show of the year for us here. The Dr. Yeah. Green Sub Show. We got both holidays on a weekend this year. You killed it. Another one. 2022 yeah. done deal, son. That's crazy. Wrap it up. Is it be- It's better when the, the holiday is on the weekend. Yeah. 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 Yep. You know I mean? yeah, we had Christmas on. Uh, Christmas Eve was last Saturday, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. And Sunday and now. New Year's Eve. Yeah, I mean, it's good. You get your party on on a Saturday. You get to sleep it in on Sunday. You back to your life on Monday. Yep. Yeah, it's real simple. Not next year. Not next yeah. year. Wait, next year will be Sundays. I think we're yeah. still good. So yeah, first days. The Sunday. next year after that was screwed because for five years. Yeah. yeah. Then we're back to the. <laughs> we're back to the stuff. Yeah, it's go- good for the kids. Yeah, for them it is. They yeah. get the extra days. They get gypped. Actually, no. There's a holiday right now. They're off no matter what. Like, they're off from now until, like, New Year's. They get that Christmas vacation, so don't change. Them. Yeah. Hey, real quick, I want to say salute to my man, Mellow Man, for coming through yesterday, <laughs> chopping it up with us, being open. Smoke. And, uh, yeah, it was good to finally have, have him at the table. So many years people have asked when is when, when, when. Mendy Rosa? Mendy Rosa, yeah. <laughs> that, oh, that hurt we my got, soul. You know, we, and, and, you know, we got... Um, uh, wind of his new drink that he's coming out with called Manny Rosa, <laughs> according to Bolton Blombo. Yeah, it was manifesting that. Yeah. Mena Ro- it was Mena Rosa. That's right, Mena Rosa. Sounded like Mena a sweet Rosa. drink. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a rosé. Yeah. yeah, definitely fruity. No. <laughs> Pacino. You yeah. call me Fruity Bobo? I'm just saying. <laughs> you know, if the shoe you know, fits where? You know, Minnesota. <laughs> I don't know what goes down over there. <laughs> oh, Minnesota. Betcha. Here, pass this down to Bobo because he's acting like he didn't violate earlier. And he's Off the so, so me drinking, So me drinking this coquito does not count. Nope. Nope. That's, lu- that's luxury. That's luxury right there. I can have one with you, bro. 
You gonna have one with? I fucking have two of them because I said it twice. Okay. Yeah. Oof. All right. I'm Dude. not. I'm, I'm not gonna front. All right. Since we're being honest. Right before Bobo unleashed his first f bomb, <laughs> like just right before him, I dropped one, and it flew by. And I don't know if anybody caught it, but oh I, no, it it, it was I noticed. Did. I didn't hear it. I didn't catch it. I caught it. I missed it. Caught Bobo. So you gonna join in? Too? Of course I am. What kind of friend would I be? Ray was still settling in at the controls. He didn't have. He wasn't prepared for that much vulgarity right out the gate. Right out. Oh, the yesterday gate. I was on one, dude. I could not stop. Oh, the last two minutes you would went down at like two twenty eight. From two twenty eight to two thirty, curse like two three. Times. Yeah, I could not. Right stop. at the end, because uh, I was telling a story, <laughs> and it you know sometimes with these stories you can't help but like to Some, illustrate something. You need to. Sometimes you need to to use those type well, of words. You only need to if you can't articulate thought properly, son. <laughs> sometimes you, sometimes to, you need them curses sometimes you need to articulate yeah, the feel to get that out because you know you can try to articulate them very well and, and eloquently and all that yeah but stuff. sometimes it just doesn't lend itself to that right, right? you just need yeah. to go just go in raw just need to go in raw you know but it's it's hard you know cuz you sort of got a petition for a, a a reprieve can i get a reprieve for what i'm about to say right now yeah, and I think and then no one be. really knows if it's going to be good enough or valid to be a, a, a reprieve given. But if you ask for it, you should be given. It. No, because no? it could be something like that. Is it revoked? Worth? It, Can it you could, revoke it? it? No, I think it has <laughs> to be said and then judged after. Right, because how are we going to know what we're giving reprieve to? Like, say we give reprieve to something that's right. not worth it, we're like, and it's like that we hear that. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah, but with no permission, you're just winging it. So from now on in, if I'm going to throw a curse, I got to wonder, is it going to pass the grading? Is this what we're going for? Like, if you like the way the curse was used, I'm getting through this? Because if so, that Well, might. so if you're asking <laughs> for reprieve, we got to say, okay, let's hear it. But that's what I'm asking. Do we have to ask or we well, just I think you gotta, if you're not And if you're not sure, then don't do it. <laughs> no, I think you, you got to ask. Right? You got to ask for the reprieve. And then you could give it. And if it was a sh... Ooh. Almost. Oh, that was close. Wow. If it's a shitey joke, we revoke it. And if then you got to do double. Joke, yeah. Yep, and you just ruined our time with your reprieval. Now you pay double. You got to do double. All right, here's it. for singles oh, right here. Go. All right. Oh, salud. Oh, salud. Oh, pie. Yeah, salud. 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 Right, salud. 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 <laughs> Salanche. Hmm. Ah, yes. Hey, and Melo even played the game with us. Yeah. He took, <laughs> he, you know, he he um he unleashed uh, an F bomb or a or a shizzy <laughs> here and there and he, he took some shots. Yeah. He didn't smoke with us because he he stopped smoking some years ago and he said why. PTSD style thing. Um, but he definitely had a couple of sips with us, man. That was cool. It was cool to have Broski down here. Yeah, it's good to see him. Yeah. Yeah, I'll never forget the very first time I went there on the hill and uh, to meet Sundog. And I turned down the, uh, on the street, and then I see Slick and Mello mad dogging me. <sighs> Mad who's dog in the dude? car, like who's this dude driving all slow? You know, I'm trying to look for the address. And I'm driving slow. They think you're trying to bang. Yeah, they were looking at yo, what's up? Where you from? Hello. Say, I'm just here to meet uh, Send Dog. <laughs> send Dog told me to come over. <laughs> send Send Dog told me to come over. Here. All right, all right. Send Dog ain't here. <laughs> I thought, I, yeah, yeah. I could have got get that. I thought I was gonna get that because the looks was like me, and I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh my god, what happened? What did I do? <laughs> was it really scary in that street at that time? It, it wasn't a scary street. They just gave scary looks. <laughs> you know, what I mean, it wasn't a scary street. It was, you know, regular street. But no, we kept the ga- we kept we kept the gang banging off that block. Everybody that came there was from somewhere else, but no one was allowed to like be overly gang banging, gang banging over there. But if you did come over and act out of hand, there was gonna be some beat downs happening. That block was protected. Yeah, that block was protected. Cypress Ave. Could you or could you not say where are you from on that block? Unless you were from that block. 
if you came over there asking someone, no, not, no, not, not, you'd mm-hmm. probably be like, you're on where we're from, homie. We're about to beat you down for that, for not knowing that. Uh, you're on the Cypress block asking where somebody's from. Woo. We're from the Cypress block, fool. <laughs> You know yeah. where you are right now? <laughs> Do you know where you are? America? <laughs> Hello. Oh yeah, there was a few f- few fools we had to check a couple times. Um you know. But that's that's the nature of it when you're you know rocking the street street life like that, you know. Somebody will come up on your block sometime and try to see how down you and your boys are. Do they really hold it down? And we did, shoot. The, and the cool thing about it is that we had dudes that were that were down to throw some blows, like down to fight, not like just cowardly act of like you know, I can't fight, so I'm gonna pull out this jammy and, and you know and pop it at somebody because I'm too afraid to get knocked out or look bad by not beating the guy up that I'm fighting with. You know what I'm saying? Because that's usually it—the ego and pride. Yeah. Act. So, <clears throat> yeah, all our guys were pretty good with the hands. Bop, 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 bop. Real quick, like. Real quick, like. Serve it up, son. <clears throat> For real, though. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah. Puro Latinos in that block? Yeah, mostly. For the uh. most part, it was mostly Latinos. Couple white kids. Um, Couple Miklos. Yep. Yeah, a little bit of everybody, but mostly Latinos on that block, for sure. Probably more now than there was at that time. Yeah. Good old Southgate. You guys are very talkative today. What's going I'm gonna on? I was going to say, you guys take heroin before the show? Yeah. I know Bobo took a well, couple only of heroin. Well, well, what, happened, what happened with me? Yeah, you I know. took too many dabs before well, the well, show. What happened is that, you know, me and uh, Blaze, we did a thing on Discord. Uh, came by uh, the office. Came, came by the, uh, so you're all the, talked out now. Is that what it is? <laughs> no, 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 I'm not talking smoked out. out. You know, smoked out. Smoked, you know, I'm just a uh, pace, pace myself. And uh, with this coquito, it's going, you know, really, really smooth. Right <laughs> <now>. <laughs> hey yo, yep. you know, but uh, yeah. That's his excuse. What about how's you? life? What? How was your week? Oh, <laughs> how was Baco? <laughs> Baco is great. <laughs> I got a chance to see my grandma, my grandpa, my mom. Got a chance to hang out with her. That's good. We actually watched a couple movies. Like we never really get a chance to hang and watch movies, and we watched a couple Christmas movies and laughed our. We laughed a lot. Uh, Say yes. Um, and yeah, then I went to Vegas. I went to Vegas on Monday. Nice. Um, and I finished this Led Zeppelin mix that I've been working on for years and years and nice. years. Did you gamble? I did. And uh, wasn't victorious. Mm. As mm. most gamblers aren't usually. Right. <laughs> I tell you about the times they win, but not the times when, they When have. you go to Vegas, what, like, what do you play? Are you going to gamble? Bots. With? Oh, you're a slot. It's, you I'm, dirty it's slot. It's the easiest. And you know, it's oh, just blackjack, a, man. It's a thing. No, yeah, it's just a thing, you know, 20 bucks. Yeah. See where I can get with it. Nowhere. You just and then, buttons, it's gone. Yeah. and But it's fun. Yeah. I used to like playing. Uh, uh, there was some slots over at the Nugget. I used to like playing. Uh and it's sometimes, you know, you, Wheel. you can get like oh. Wheel of Fortune's fun. That's a fun one. Old the Wheel best. of Fortune, yeah. Old folks will go play the, the the nickel slots all day, boy. Those are fun too. Yeah, those are fun too. You could win. Yeah, I, I was tripping on how crazy, like, at, like you know, like it's gonna be for New Year's Eve over there. Like, uh, my homie Four Eyes, uh, he DJs over at Hakkasan and Omni and all these big clubs. And he was saying that like he had like everyone that works on the strip for New Year's has to be there by five o'clock p.m. regardless of whatever. If you even if you go on at midnight, you gotta be there by five. You gotta be there by five because they shut the whole boulevard down. Yeah. And then at that point, it's just gonna be a traffic jam, so that you won't be able to get there. Asked out. Well, it, at, like yeah. they open up the streets so people walk on the street. Yeah, they close all. They it, it's just. The entire block is just open to walk around, and you could just go in and out of all the different casinos, and everyone's drinking, and just now you can smoke out there. So it's like it's gonna be this like insane party. But you got if you're working it, you got to be there by five. Otherwise, so uh, if you got to be there by five, are they gonna start the the clock like as far as getting paid? 
No, I mean, you, yeah, we start working when you start work, but you got to be that. You like, you, you can't like. That's a gig you don't want to miss. Unless you want to carry all your gear from hella far, you know, like yeah. just. I mean, you just don't want to miss. That's a gig you're just not trying to be at any any seconds, minutes late to, because it's Vegas, baby. New Year's in Vegas. Don't do it, man. Don't do it. But it's cool, man. They shut. I mean, it's I've a been, party. I've been there a couple times when they shut that whole thing down, and it's it's just everyone wilding out. Wilding. Yeah. Vegas? Yeah, Vegas, Miami, New York. Those are like the three pop off spots. Miami. It, now, this is going to be the first year, like, since the pandemic, that's really going to be opened up, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's hey, going to be crazy. Hey, did you guys see that story, the, the Tate brothers? Ooh, yeah. Oh, no. I do? heard a piece of it. That's what did all. Tate do? Um, oh, man. They, Sex trafficking, they, right? Yeah, they, they've, been, they've been wanting to, you know, Get those guys have been under uh, investigation for sex trafficking for for some time and dude went on, on his tiktok or ig or whatever the hell his main twitter. platform is i think it's twitter. twitter twitter and you know was clowning that 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 um that young girl who's a a climate activist right Greta yeah. Thunberg. yeah Thunberg? and while he was clowning her he showed the pizza boxes that he was that he had ordered and he was clowning her through the pizza boxes Right, and the police saw the pizza boxes and where they was from, and they were able to pinpoint him from those pizza boxes. Mm. So, went, what does anybody know? What what he actually? What was that for? No, just kidding. Oh, oh, for his, his, take. his, his <laughs> yeah, big time. So does anybody know? Like, you know, sex trafficking is a very uh, broadly used well, supposedly, thing. allegedly, you know, they kidnapped a chick, and wow, you know, like a. Obviously, but against her held her will. against her yeah. will. That's uh, the kidnapping, yeah. and the rest is like you know, yeah, sexual well, abuse or whatever the hell. And and I'll say the funniest thing about this whole situation is that he went to he called he tried to call out Greta Thornburg and like I have thirty three cars, I have this, I have that. Let me. And so she was like, "Oh, that's cool. Like you could email, you know, he because she he asked like for for a response, and she was like, you can email me at." Uh, small dick energy at getalife.com. Right. And so she, every the internet went crazy. They were like, oh, she she moated him. You know what I mean? She just and so his response was he was like, oh, whatever. But he in his response, he had a pizza box that was a Romanian pizza um chain. Right. And so they had been trying to figure out where he was based on his social media, uh, because they couldn't they couldn't confirm whether he was in Romania or not. And when he, they had that picture of him in the pizza box, they were like, oh. got him. So he basically set himself up to get wow. caught. He said, because I heard in a clip that somebody played that he said that something like, we knew it was coming. Right? Somebody just said Well, of course you know it. In the group of, chat. Of, 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 course, of course you knew it was coming because they, you're wanted for. That charge? For right. this oh, charge. Okay. Right. So it was it was a matter of him dodging until he couldn't dodge anymore. Gotcha. So of course you knew it was coming. There was no way you didn't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mentioned this. Hence man. them raiding the crib and coming to get you for this allegation. Look at how is he yeah. The Matrix sent their agents dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's it's amazing. Wow. He set himself up some awful man. Yes, he did. he sure did through a pizza box. That's sort of similar to how when we were in Switzerland that one time, and we were chilling with Red Man, remember that? Yep. And and I showed the weed that that they had sent us, and it was it was sealed with the company that was from Switzerland, like the like the bag the the bag was from some company that's out there, like like their version of Ziploc, let's mm -hmm. say, right? And they looked at that. And they came at us like, where'd you get these this cannabis and who'd you get it from? And like, where'd you buy it? And all this other, remember, remember that? They like- It was just grilling. Yeah, they were trying to grill us after a show yeah. because I went on stage with that and wow. I was smoking it and all this other stuff. And they were like coming at us for that. And uh, yeah, man, you gotta be careful what you show them. I ain't saying a single name, but there are <laughs> hella videos of hell of people doing dumb shit like that where they're trying to drop the inside joke on everybody and, yep. but they did some real foul real foul stuff yeah you know what i'm saying but they think no one knows you know it's like you just told everyone but you just didn't use the words true that yeah and you got a shot right there just so that you uh true so you're in the know <laughs> 
True. <laughs> it was coming no matter what. <laughs> Very true. I mean, regardless of anything, when you're wanted for a cr- you know, ac- you know, crime like that, it's going to catch up to you. It's not going to be like you're going to be free forever. They'll find a way. And yeah, boy, people, did they. The world is small, like they say, man. Eventually, you, you know, you can go to all these exotic locations to where they're not going to extradite you or any of that stuff. But mm-hmm. eventually, you know, in your bounce around that you do, you're going to end up in a place that absolutely will send your ass back. Oh, yeah. And in Romania, shoot, they got him. You can't go to homies on named island and think nobody knew. Right. <laughs> hmm. Man. Yeah, so I, I wanted to ask you guys a question at the table. Out of all the shows, if you can think of one off top that we've all been a part of, what was one of the fun, funniest moments here on the show? Come on, man. That's, that, that's <laughs> yeah, hands down. And I think the, the, I think the day we, we did the, the, mic, the moderation dose, yeah. too. Yeah. That, that, was, that, was, that, was, that was a really good one. That was an actually funny yep. deal. I mean, I don't know how funny it was for people that, watching, but us, for it us, great. it was I was hilarious. not here, but I was watching and listening, and it was great. <laughs> <laughs> I think that with the Dustin thing, uh, that was a great thing to watch. I, I wasn't here. I was just watching it. Uh, uh, you know, And he was telling me, like, man, you got to see it. You got to see it. And when I watched it, I watched it like seven times back to back to back. I thought you watched it more because, like, every time I saw you backstage at one of the shows, you were watching it. I was analyzing. I was really listening to the whole thing. Uh, yes, you were. <laughs> and then that's when I got all the little nuances of what was going on in the background. And I said, oh, Dustin's on some shit in here. <laughs> Did I make it? No, <laughs> you did not. Not even close. Give me that cup, buddy. Give me can rock that cup right over here. I gotta rock mine too, though. That's the last one. Yeah. Oh no, I I you know what I did mine. You might go through the curtain soon. No. You know, I'm I'm smart. I'll stay put. That dab. Come on. See, he wanted to bring that bottle up to the treehouse. Yep. Oh. He wanted he wanted to make that trip. He yeah. wanted them to to experience the flavors of that bottle. He well, said, they were man. experiencing it, but he wanted them to have more like want, all of us. Right. Yeah. So he just got up. Well, and he realizes realized in the moment when he looked at it that he had polished off pretty much three quarters. Yeah, of the it was bottle. barely any left. Right. It's like this much in the bottle. And, and, you know, if you look at it, it's not that difficult to get from behind you right there. It really isn't. <laughs> no. You know. But there's enough room. There's enough room. Dustin is a little bit bigger than Callie Blaze, though. The yeah. space, <laughs> the path out would have been a little <laughs> bit narrower. <laughs> <laughs> yes, if it was any more narrow, it would have been very tragic what happened. What would have happened here that day. <laughs> I, I do, like I, I said then, I'll say it now, if. If if all the cameras were just recording, so you could the each one of them, the image from each one was always available. That was very <coughs> timeless. Yeah, I like, wish I could have done that, but oh. out of respect for the show, <laughs> Cycle Easy had a front row seat right there. He was watching it all happen. He sure was. Damn, Trudis was a uh, red man this year. Yeah, yes, red man. Was, that was a good one. Yeah, that was yeah. a good one. Talk about Dustin. Yeah. Faith was good too. Faith was great. She was amazing. Hell yeah. Gangsta Boo. Gangsta Boo, Gangsta though. Gangsta Boo. Woo! Yeah, we had some really good, good, funny uh, shows this Warren this G. Year. Warren, Warren G. G. Yep. It was great. Got to get him back over here. Yeah. Talk about that colonoscopy. Yep. Bring that barbecue. <laughs> and that barbecue, too. Talk about that colo and <laughs> <laughs> the colo. <laughs> colo. <laughs> Talk about that colo, son. Yeah, it's going to be the new word for it. Hey, oh, you get wait. your colo yet, son? Yeah. <laughs> He did say that he was going to do he that. He might without. be a changed man, by the way. He might come back a different if he person. Did, if like, he I'll didn't, never do it look awake <laughs> yeah. again. That, that's the change. He's I, gonna learned, yeah. I learned. I learned. Because he's day. wanted to stay awake. Say, you know what? I don't need. I know what happened. I don't need to stay awake again. <laughs> <laughs> I never want to be awake in my life. No. You can't. Yeah. After that, I was gonna slip right now too. I was close. Two minutes How left. Time oh, yeah, Bro. no, don't do it. I'm going to do it. <laughs> yeah, close. You can ask for a reprieval. No, no reprieval. <laughs> yeah. I would get the reprieval though. <laughs> I would totally get it. 
If there was a song. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> not going to do it. Not going to do it. No. Um, look, the Mega Millions still available. Lottery number 0, 02, 27, 12, 30, 75. We get 10% if you hit. <laughs> All right. Just let you know you hit that number. Yep. 10%. What's the Powerball number? I don't know what the hell the Powerball. I'm giving them our numbers right here. If they <laughs> if they crack it, cool. If they don't. Who's going to give them a Powerball number? You give them a Powerball number. Yeah. Hey, man. Like 90. All right, there you go. 90? Wait, is that even a number? That's not even a number. No, they don't go that think, high? I don't no. think 90 is a number. I don't even think those are. Nine. Okay, nine. nine. There you go, nine. nine. There you go, there you go, Bobo. Let's nine. get realistic here. <laughs> 90. 87. <laughs> Let's get realistic, man. <laughs> 183. That's a female. That's a female. <laughs> next drawing. Next drawing is tonight. Oh, yeah. 11 o'clock. 685. I'm telling you, yeah. my numbers don't seem bad. Cast. My numbers don't seem bad. I mean, you should play my numbers. And Bobo's Powerball number. Actually, See? buy one with those numbers that you've said yesterday. Say Let's what? See how that goes. I bought a ticket with your numbers from yesterday. Uh-oh. Damn All right. right. So I'm going to see how that goes. Come on, Ray, 10%. 10% <laughs> I got you. Ah. I already know. <laughs> You'll know. One day we'll all be here waiting to, waiting to do the show. And there won't be no Ray. <laughs> so, yeah, of Ray, Ray, Ray my name gonna... on the wall. It's like one of those memes. He <laughs> says, I'm buying the building for you guys, all right? <laughs> we check his Instagram. He's on some island somewhere. He's on some island. Yeah, uh, you know, I'm going to send won't... a guy. I won't tell people I won the lotto, but there'll be slight hints. Slight like hints. Like that hint. Like yeah. that meme. Yeah. It's a good one. Yeah, you would never know I won. <sighs> I would not tell you. And we got the Godfather up in the chat. What's yeah. up, man? Saying yeah. he's healing up. It's going to take a minute. He's staying high. And he's saying, y'all seem a little slow today. <laughs> I was at the beginning. That's what I, I, psh, I was thinking the Cunt. same thing, GF. <laughs> thinking the same thing. Bobo got too damn high. Hey. Hey. It's for horses, son. It's not, not, not my fault. What do you mean? It's not your fault. I mean, you made the choice. He did. All of them. Is right. this a Lion Friday or no? Nope, we did that last All week. Right, cool. Here we go. We call a liar. The lion yeah. is mm. chilling in Zion. Meow. Meow. But I got to tell you, we do got a mix t- today. Um, <clears throat> check us out on Twitch. Be underscore real TV as the place. Aight. Um, no joints. telling where these mixes is going. Yep. Yeah. Straight to the brain. The brain. It's a brizzy. Be underscore real TV. We invite all of you to join us. Gotta tell you, I was high as fuck this morning. Oh, From yeah. last Are, night. Oh, yes. So? I took, I took, I popped a gel cap, 400 milligrams worth. Of, full of, spectrum of, of, hash oil. My man's full spectrum of oh, Cali Blaze's full spectrum hash you, oil. You took you took the one that I was gonna I was gonna take. <laughs> the one I was gonna No, I got one ready for you. You do? All right. Yeah, full blast. I wanna try this. Right? Um I, so lunch. I gotta tell you, like I took it at nine thirty last night and I thought I'd feel it by twelve one and nah, I felt it like at three, four in the morning. Ooh. And when I woke up I was higher than I had ever been in a long time. Um, I was high probably till I till I started my way over here. That's beautiful. I didn't smoke a joint this morning as you know, as I usually do on the way here or before I come here, I'll smoke one. Wow. I was like, oh hell no, I ain't even no. When no. those edibles hit you don't have any desire to smoke weed. No, you don't. No, I didn't even want to look at, at my nope. jars of weed. Nope. I was like, yeah. When you're actually <laughs> high from edibles, you're like, I'm good. Yes. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah. It's uh, it's always it's the feeling of like, because usually when, on a night you haven't done edibles, you wake up and be like, oh, I'm going to smoke a joint in the morning, right have away. my cup of coffee. But when you wake up off them good edibles, Ooh, you're like, we do. I don't need like, to smoke uh, right at, now. I, at oh. first, I, I, like, I mind fucked myself because I thought, you know, oh, these are these. Like what he gave me wasn't strong this time around. Maybe it was like you know a little bit weaker. Uh uh-uh. uh, mm-hmm. it just took, it took cause longer. Plus I ate more that day, That's it. so like it took a little bit longer to get through my system. Mm. Oh my god! Yep. Yeah. So so like, do you get like lucid dreams? Lucid dreams like like they feel real. Yeah, yeah. like vivid. Yes, dreams. vivid yeah. dreams. Yes, yep. and a hard sleep. <laughs> yeah. The other day when I was on one like that, like I was right in the middle of a dream where like someone was 
giving me the key to life and my alarm clock woke me yeah. up right right at that moment i was so mad <laughs> but yeah i i'd be like sleeping heavy mm. but i know when i'm on it i know when it hits like I, like my body will feel it and my mind will know even though i'm asleep it's crazy so, so what's wow. the reaction like uh, like it's from the time you take it what time do you take it like I took it at nine thirty p.m. last night. Damn, and you didn't you didn't feel it till like three a.m. Till probably like three in the morning. Yeah. Wow. So that's and I was waiting for it. I like I stood up waiting for it till probably about twelve twelve thirty. I didn't feel it, and I was like, oh, fuck it, I'm gonna yeah. go to sleep. And you know, and I thought oh, maybe two o'clock it'll hit me in my sleep. Now nah, it hit me at like three three thirty, and then like I felt it, and then I got up like at five or six to go take a piss or whatever, and that's when it was like really <laughs> like oh man i am like hmm. blazed so right now and so then when i got back in bed i went back to sleep and, and i knocked right the fuck back out you know and i woke up like with the alarm clock waking me up at 8 15 whatever right and i could have i could have stood asleep another hour i was like that faded i couldn't i didn't even want to look at my phone I didn't even want to turn the TV on. I was like so like like crispy, dude, that I was like, I, I don't want no part of it. I just want yeah. to lay here and be a vegetable. Yeah. Mm. That because that's how that's how heavy it was. Like normally, thing. no matter how high I get, I can function and I'll be able to like I can do shit, no problem. You know this, you've seen it. But this morning, that level. Oh, I didn't want to do shit. I didn't even work out. Like I was like, I am not fighting against this right now. I'm just gonna lay in this hair bed. And that was twelve hours after you ingested it. Twelve hours, yes. Wow. Yeah. It hit me, bro. Like I like wow. yesterday I was questioning it because I had one the night before and it didn't necessarily hit it me is, that yeah. way, right? But I realized I probably had half of the dosage. You need to up it. And when I cracked that 400 milli, bro, oh yeah. my God. You gotta Ooh. remember, believe it or not, even though I'm not a fan of distillate, it's still stronger than full spectrum oil. Like distillate, like when we made it, was 95 to 98% wow. THC. THC is the only active ingredient. Everything else, when you eat it, it doesn't work. If it's not THC, it won't become, they call it an 11-hydroxy. It won't go through your liver. You won't process it. Distillate is pure THC. So that hits harder. So you have to up the dose. So like if you're usually taking, you know, 200 milligrams of distillate, take 300 milligrams of full spectrum because there's lower. But when it does hit, kicks you like, and not just that, full body high. Like it's like to me, distillate's more of like yeah. racy, edgy feeling. Yeah. Man, when you if it's like hash oil, just pure hash oil, it's a full body high, man, from... From your, from your literally your muscles to your brain to everything, it's just a great feeling. Yeah, I, was, I love it. I was crispy all morning. It wasn't <laughs> until I got here I started normaling out, but I was still high. I had a coffee, yeah, to kind of get me there, and something with sugar to yeah. kind of level me out. When you got to go to work after it, it's like a hangover almost because you're oh, you is. just want to stay in bed. You're like, oh man. Today would be great. I just right. want to. Yeah, you just start. <laughs> I start picturing my day like I wake up. I'm like, oh man. I could just watch TV. I could do this. And then I have anxiety about 9,000 things I have to do I was about before to, even 10 o'clock. I was and about have to, to get up. I was about to call Bobo and be like, huh. I can't sleep. Think. Oh, <laughs> What's wrong with you, man? I, I can't think. <laughs> what are you help, doing? Help are you doing? Me. <laughs> man, if you call me up like that, man, I'll be tripping out. <laughs> I'd call 911. Like, yo, this yeah. is something that's not right here. This is not normal. It'd be the other way around. Yeah, you know, normally I'm not ever out of control. I wouldn't, and it wasn't that I was out of control this morning. I was totally in control, but I was like faded. Yep. Edibles will get anybody. Yeah, they will. No matter who the hell you think yep. you are, they will get anybody. They will get you. Oh yeah. man, there is an amount that will rack. Exactly. You. Just say you're Amen. the guy who's got the high tolerance and 400 ain't it for you. You gotta take right? thousand. If you had to take a thousand or 1200, trust you're yeah. feeling that. Yeah. Exactly. There are people I know who literally take like five, six hundred. Like I'll try to take two, two fifty three, and then still functioning, no problem. I know people take six hundred, a thousand. Right, because they've been taking it for a long time. But 
you give those pers- that person $2,000, they will be in Narnia for 10 hours, yeah. just oh, like anybody yeah. else. I look at the packs that have like 10 milligrams of THC, and I, oh, kind of, a joke. I just laugh at it because I'm like, that's not even going to give me a tickle. Well, yeah, I got to put on 20 pounds. Yeah. I got to eat 30 pounds of gummies to get yeah, high. I'm like, no. Take three packs of these right. down to feel nope. like. And in California, yeah, it's our, our law won't let you put more than 10 milligrams yeah. into an edible. That's terrible. Yeah. Because the delivery methods all come with sugar and carbs. They're all either gummies or cookies, yeah. and they're not gel caps. Yeah, you know, Because no. encapsulating machines are, you know, half a million to a million dollars. Most companies can't afford them. So you don't see many gel caps because they're such a low, they'd have to make 10 of each one. But mm-hmm. still a better application than having to eat 10 gummies or 10 cookies. Absolutely. And that still won't even do it. Absolutely. You've got to eat 20 cookies to get high? Like, that's stupid. Well, yeah, and the gel caps are, like, direct. Absolutely, just there's like no, any other medicine. There's no middle, there's no yeah. middle, um, um, there's nothing in the way of the THC. It's not, you know what I mean? Like, you don't got to eat so much of the, nothing. the food no. yeah. to get that or the snack or whatever or whatever sugar product it is. You know what I mean? You don't got to eat the whole bar to get that. You just gel cap that. Straight it's only if you, that ass. Yeah, it's only if you want the sweet part of it that, you know, you go buy the chocolate bar or the or whatever it is, whatever the vehicle is, right? Yeah. To, to me, I don't like it so sweet. And to me, THC makes a sweet, uh, like a sweet product sweeter like it makes it more rich to me and i don't like that so to me gel caps are the best preferred method preferred Absolutely. method yeah Absolutely. i have a uh, i have a little cannabis question for cali blaze you got? does reintroducing terpenes to distillate actually change the effect or is that all marketing it, it all depends on the terpenes if you're using what they'll you'll hear natural terpenes that means they're just derived from plants but not cannabis if you're using cannabis-derived terpenes and full-spectrum terpenes, then yes, it will change the effect, absolutely. Then you basically have that full spectrum again. It's not just THC anymore. So it depends on where they're derived from, uh, regular plants or cannabis-derived. So when you see a lot of the like botanical terpenes, like strawberry or that type botanical. of stuff, botanical. That's, just, that's just all fl- flavor type of that's thing? It. That's it. That's like it, the exactly, because they take them from plants. That's exactly what it is. It'll say 100% botanical terpenes. We don't want botanical. We want cannabis-derived terpenes. We want those minor cannabinoids that we're all finding out now all play a major role in the effects that we have. It's the look at high, just high THC weed. Don't mean nothing. Yep. Give me high THC with high terpenes. Now you got a banger. But I know plenty of 18 to 22% weed with the right terpene combination, like OGs, that'll karate kick you compared to these 40, 42% THC with a 1% terpene or yeah, 0.9%. There's yeah. got to be a balance. There does. You know, all, all great cannabis, all impactful cannabis has a balance. Checks you know, all boxes. Yeah, it, you know, because when it, when it's heavier on one side than the other, that, that, that weed or that strain may trend out for a second, but then people get tired of it because, oh, well, it's the flavor's great, but it doesn't have impact or... Yep. The other or vice versa, or the fl- yep. flip side. Oh well, it has impact, but it's got no flavor. Yeah, yep. you know, and so it's got to have a proper balance. And so. and some of the exotics have it, and some don't. And that's just you know a matter of them dialing it in. And it's, or, or sometimes it's genetic. Sometimes some of those it is. those crosses just ain't gonna boost those numbers ever, it's no true. matter what you do. They're just low THC strains. Yeah, and they'll take years to breed the THC up, which you could do, yeah. but that takes a long time. You know, people forget they're still you know three four month cycle no matter what. So it yeah. takes years to develop. I, I think if you got a low strain, like a, a strain that was like dope flavor, low low impact though on the THC, and you find the right the right one on the other side where it's high in THC, maybe not so much flavor, and you, you know, crossbreed those, you you may have something there. That but that's always that's like what they're doing. That's yeah. what they're trying what to Kenji do. G is doing constantly yeah. is taking the best of this and putting it with the best of yeah. that, trying to get the best of both worlds. And it takes people don't realize what pheno a real pheno hunting, when people talk about it, you're talking about one or two plants per hundred, max. Lobo's fading out of it. <laughs> He's going down, Yo. man, down. That ain't an agreement nod. I know the difference. <laughs> I know the difference of an agreement nod, which yeah. goes like this. Yep. Not the fall. Oh, oh, even when you're not saying anything, right? Like, that's the agreement nod. Bobo was not an agreement nod. It was more like the heroin nod. 
Yeah. Portal <laughs> nod. Portal nod. <laughs> Portal nod. Yeah. He's drinking that nog, son. Man, this Puerto Rican good. nog. That's so great. Poquito. Poquito <laughs> you, he needs best, some man. sugar, baby. Yeah. <laughs> you need an espresso. <laughs> and Our he, man. he spotted it off top. He was like, that is not, <laughs> he's not like he's going like, I have that, you know, my spirit animal is a hawk, son. I, yeah. you know, I see everything. You could have let him go on five more minutes, though. That way it would have been <laughs> yeah, the, full blown yeah. snore. Full blown right. portal. Yeah, more just more oh. dramatic. Oh, hell yeah. What up, snacks? Oh, Pimpin. What's up, Pimpin? He's Pimpin. Snacks is like, wake up. He's getting looks like he's getting his George Clinton on. Yep. Yeah, he's getting getting kind of funky with it. He's though. he lives for the funk, son. Yeah, we want the funk. He's good yep. on them drums. He's too. he's got to have that funk. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> yes. How many dabs did you give this Two, guy? But they here? were big. That's what I was gonna say. Still globs. So they were globs, and they were out of the mothership with their like Ooh. big airflow. So yeah. how about we give him like little <laughs> tiny dabs at first, <laughs> yeah, and well, then I the globs after? <laughs> I handled them really good though. You did. My, lung, my lungs, but, my lungs are good. Uh, like you handled them you did, good right there, but you're, but you're not. <laughs> I'm here, man. I'm here. He's man. training. He's I'm training. Here. I'm here, man. If anyone can sleep on the air, it's you. I'm I support. Zen. Yes, oh, this is true. Yeah, I mean, Steph is not wrong in this. If, it, if, if anyone is acceptable <laughs> to like have the nod out. <laughs> It is Eric Big Drum Bobo. It's a personal touch. AK, I mean, people don't even know. AKA the big uh, sleep. When he could finesse just falling asleep in front of you and you don't know till you know. Yeah. That's an art. Look, <laughs> yeah. We've all had conversations with you where like part of the conversation was a, was a pause. <laughs> I was looking uh -huh. at I was looking at Bobo like, wait, he's agreeing. He's not here. He's agreeing in a part where you don't agree with <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, I know what's happening. This part, 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 my portal part oh, is, is, is something else. Here, if he was a rock band, it would be the Sleepy Weepers. That was it. It's always sleeping, always weeping. Well, we also <laughs> called him the Big Sleep, and that Big wasn't because he was from New Orleans. You know what I'm saying? It's a talent. <laughs> it is. It's yeah, because you, because you're perceiving. Him to be unconscious, but even as an unconscious state, still nodding. He's still, yeah, he's still in it. <laughs> he's a like, yeah, but it was the wrong time. He's agreeing. He was, he was he's agreeing, agreeing at the wrong time. Why, the why wrong is space. he agreeing? Why is he agreeing at that part? <laughs> so he's agreeing in the in the wrong space. I know what this is. <laughs> <laughs> he's not here. This party is officially over. <laughs> <laughs> Hell to the nod. I man, I almost, I almost took. A, That's how I felt. A hero, I almost, I almost. Today, I almost. I would have, oh you would have been on one, bro. Man, we should have discussed that. We should. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. something we must discuss. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Portalize together and understand <laughs> each other. <laughs> Don't go alone. Yeah. Don't go alone. Never <laughs> travel alone. Never travel alone. Man, <laughs> where <laughs> am I? Into the deep dark beyond. <laughs> You always need a wingman. Help yeah, me. at least. Help me. Help me. Slow down. Can't she tell to slow down? Help me. What? I swear to God, that's how I told him, too. There's no exaggeration. Slow down. <laughs> It's like was, the Walking Dead, bro. That was Bobo's brain today after the second tab. It's like, please yeah, stop. Wow. That was my, <laughs> that was my brain when I woke up. I totally yeah. related to it. I was like, I know what that is. That sucks, man, because if that was a Saturday, it would have been the greatest day. Yeah. Like, because you didn't have to get up. Like, you could have rode it out longer. Like, when you wake up high from edibles, it's a Ooh, glory. And the gardeners. It's a great feeling. The, the like, neighbors, it's a great feeling. The gardeners, I love it. The neighbor's gardeners woke my ass up. Like, mm. I was out. They came in early. <laughs> like, yep. oh, that. my God. I hate that. Yeah, and then, right? so when I got up to use the restroom, that's annoying. I, it was yeah, full oh, impact. Yeah. I knew. I was like, oh, my God. God. Yeah, and you laugh. You're like, holy oh, shit, I'm so high right now. Yeah. It is a real great it awakening is. when you wake up and you are, your eyes are already there. Red and, and you're just like, yeah. oh. floating. You like float around the house. It's like, oh, like I feel great, like on a cloud. I love yep. that feeling. And smoke, <laughs> smoking will not like no help you after. No. No. It won't. It won't. I mean, it you're already high yeah. as hell. Yep. 
True. You know, you want to taste the weed? Okay, I get it. But, like, I could not even. I was, Your body's telling you we don't need any. We don't need anything yep, right we're now. We're good. Just chill it's out. so true. When I'm really high on edibles, you will not see a joint in my hand. Yeah. No need. Uh, no, no need. There's no need. No need because nope. your body's like, yo, this is what we're trying to get to when we smoke. Right. Like, that's what I'm trying to achieve. Once you finally achieve it, ah. But we'll, but we were right. talking about this earlier. We'll never hit that spot from just smoking nope. because we smoke absolutely every day. Not. No way. It was it's crazy. Only edible. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you're absolutely right. We'll only never edible. hit that spot because we we smoke every day. Right? Hard. But you know what's crazy is that with the edibles, you don't you don't think about it, but it'll give it it'll dehydrate you too. Ooh, sure. oh, yeah. You got to drink a lot of water. You got to drink sure. a lot of water. Yep. Yeah, you got to stay hydrated because yeah. I wake up dehydrated. Drinking water Ooh, like it's like nothing. the worst like, cotton mouth, huh? Like I like, again, like I did fifty flips on this Dundon. Oof. Oof. You know what I mean? That's like I, I wake up with that kind of dehydration. Like you gotta I have water immediately. You gotta have that bottle of Pediat Pedialyte ready for you. Yep. <laughs> or an IV drip. Happening. Very, very <laughs> yeah. sleep. Very near alkaline water. <laughs> I'm just gonna IV yep. drip it in my sleep real quick. I drink a ton of water before bed. The only problem is I wake up two, three times a night to piss because I drink like two bottles. Of water from the time I like start to go to sleep till I wake up. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Since I wake up thirsty, yeah, because every time I wake up, I'm thirsty. I drink again, go take a piss, drink more water. I'm like, yeah, oh. that's the that's the thing. It'll wake you up. It's like that was the up. old school alarm. You know, people back in the days, if they wanted to wake themselves up early, drink a drink lot it. of water. They drank a that's ton true. of water before bed to make them wake up early. Unless you, like, got that a, was unless you had a weak, is. unless you had a weak bladder, yep. son. I still do that now. I'm like, yeah. I gotta get up at six. All right, drink a ton of water. Yep, that'll wake you up. If yeah. not, you're drunk. But if you got a weak bladder, don't do it. Oh, man. Don't do you're going to wake don't. yourself up in the wrong and way, boy. <laughs> if you're pissing in your dream, you're pissing in real life. Just remember that, Just too. Wake up. Oh, that if you're taking a piss and you're at a urinal, man. big trouble, big buddy, because you ain't at a urinal. You ain't at a you're urinal. You're pissing in the closet. Else. I don't know if that attends, applies to women, but for men... If you're pissing in your dream, oh my you god! Been, they, oh, uh, man. oh man, that guy drank a keg first. Uh, hey, some oh, people pay oh, for that. What, what, what is that? That's, that's a, a murder a, scene. Yeah, that's a yeah, ruined that, mattress. That Fuck. That's an R. Kelly that's scene. Yeah, that's scene. an R. Kelly scene. Exactly. Oh my god. That was Trip, perfect. Trip, Trip. <laughs> what are you eating? Ugh. What are you what drinking? Are you, what do you mean drinking? What are you drinking? If that what? came out of their ass, bro, <laughs> that's a really dark yellow. Yeah, that was piss, Bobo. What did they eat? The portal got you seeing some different things coming out. What the fuck is that? Don't show that off. Uh, Eric, we're, we're talking about potholes right now. <laughs> okay. 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 Yeah, man. <laughs> What's wrong with your piss? Was, your piss is looking like that. What's wrong with your piss? Man? What is oh, the people? Uh, yeah, Callie speaks from experience. Yes, that's from experience of being drunk as hell. When you're too pissing, drunk, yeah. And oh, absolutely, man. what do you think that was? Yes, that's an admission of guilt. I absolutely pissed myself drunk. You before. get too drunk, you'll piss yourself. The hell, man. Like, uh, my Aton's like, that's an admission or whatever. You're damn right I did it, and that's how I knew about it, and I'm trying to warn others, get out of that bathroom before you go to the toilet. Wake yourself up and say, oh, shit, there ain't no toilet here. Hey, Tom Get doesn't out. have enough life experience Correct. to realize that is something that could happen to you. To anybody. Yeah. When you drink Especially if you party hard. Too oh. much. <laughs> yep. This is a rhetorical question, but how many times can you piss in that mattress before that mattress has to <laughs> Once. go? Once. Oh, yeah. Just one Absolutely. time, right? Once, like, especially like that. If <laughs> your mattress that, yeah, like that, that yeah. you don't light it on that. fire. You yeah. can't recover from that. You can flip it over, but that smell's going to be <laughs> oh. there. Oh, yep. no. No. no, I mean you couldn't give it one good sp spraying of Febreze nope. once. Nope, nah. nah. With some Lysol. Nope, not with that nah. kind of piss. Bleach Every time you get up on it or off it, the, oh, it's done. What about if they bring like one of those things for your carpet? Maybe they can get out, nope. steam it out, like steam and water. Yeah. Nope. He's like, no, nope. I mean, nope. There's always gonna be little pea particles in there. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna yeah, be one and there. done, right? Drip, drip, drip. <laughs> the stain is real, real. It's really real. It's According real. to Google, all you got to do is just toss a little baking soda on there, let it sit there for a few hours or even overnight, and then vacuum it up in the morning. Hmm. Okay. Just all right. a little baking soda. <laughs> baking soda. Baking soda. Even so, not a hundred. Not a hundred. No, it's not right? brand new. Yep. Yeah, I'm buying a new mattress. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're going to have yeah. to check yourself the next night after you do that one night. God forbid, but I'm buying a new mattress. I mean, could, could you imagine like you having, uh, you know, you having to spend a night over at a homie's house or whatever, oh. and then, you know, you do that because you're pissy drunk. Yep. And you can't drive home and you want to. They got a story forever. 
You're worth a damn. Night. You're getting a black. Remember night that night, sure. Timmy um, pissed on In your closet. Yeah, no. If, <laughs> if you're worth anything, you you have that bed replaced that afternoon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah, you yeah, have yeah. the you have new carpet laid, padding, and all that. Because you know you're gonna fuck the whole the whole room up. It ain't gonna be just the match. No, it's oh, gonna man. be yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You're gonna you're gonna have to have that room redone that S- day. You Sanitized. Yeah, you're gonna Ooh. spend a little bit. But that's what you do when you piss in your homie's bed overnight and fuck up his room. Yeah. Throw his, oh, where do you? I've, crush your spread. And it's a sanitation. Or the couch. <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, with that conversation, that, yo, man, I'm sorry, homie, uh, you know. Uh, the best if they, tra- they try to deny it. It wasn't it's me. The, at the least, you're not ever welcome to that crib again. <laughs> yeah, you're going to get some grief. There's no avoiding the grief that you're going to get. The parents. That's how you handle it. You, but if, like I said, it, but if you have that room back to new, Correct. literally, that, that, that That's day. That's the only way. That's the only way. That conversation, yeah. we'll, be able to, we'll be able to have a laugh about it later. Well, there's yeah. going to be a laugh about it, but they're never going to let you live that down. <laughs> no, no, that's what I'm saying. It'll, it'll still be, it'll be a fun As story. You should, Absolutely. Yeah, you, no, sh- you, yeah, you should you never live, live it. Now, you're saying, B, you're saying is that you would not invite that person over to the house to sleep over again. Well, one, no one would be sleeping over with <laughs> ever, but I'm saying yes, you're right. That's fair. You're right. <laughs> that's, that's, a fair, that's a fair conclusion. Yeah. Nobody's sleeping homie already blew, over. Nobody's sleeping over. Look, if your homie blew out the room, replaced the room even that same day, was super cool about it, now you guys have a good story, but you already know you're running a greater than 50% chance of repeating. How many times can you expect for your homie... To replace that room every time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but I'm just saying you, you you'd be. I mean, you win the lotto if you got one homie that replaced the room that day. You know what True I mean? That. Yeah, ain't but, happening. But what if happens? That dude's the type of dude just pissing in your yeah. bed. He ain't that responsible. But, that yeah. just runs out. Or what one if, day. Or what if the guy, uh, you know, like he it's just a repeat offender. Like every time he gets drunk and crashes at any of the homies' house, he just pisses wherever he sleeps. Like <laughs> you should affect repeat the friendship? Offending, whooping his that ass. Would, that's it. Right? That would though. That would. No, he had to stay in his car. Yeah, I'll take the sure. keys and stay in his car. Like you sleep can, outside, it, you scumbag. Yeah. I got an idea. Don't invite them. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> if you start <laughs> telling them like, hey, you can't go out with this because you know how you You get. pissed yourself. End the discussion. You're out of the group. How about that? You're an adult and you're peeing, like, we're done. This is, unless you're like 75, 80 and your, your bladder's fucking falling out of your asshole, I don't want to hear about wow. it. Wow. If you're pissing That'd yourself at our age, you're out of the group, man. It's very this extreme. Is, yeah. It's very extreme. <laughs> you kicked me out of the group. <laughs> Why? Because I peed everywhere. Yes. I kept on pissing myself. You ain't coming to the house. You definitely <laughs> ain't getting in the car. Right. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, do I still what? get a Christmas card? No. Yeah. I'll send you a it's card. like an R. Kelly card. Or, or something. you know, they just don't drink and they hang out. That won't usually happen. Yeah, you can't stop. They'll stick to it, pissing. It just say, <laughs> fuck it. I'm gonna bring my depends, okay? Oh, you wet buy diapers. Him depends? <laughs> yeah. That's a good one. You buy my him men, depends. My men's depends. Men's depends. Depends, yo. Wow. <laughs> All the I men's depends. I, I would still I would definitely still be your homie. But I would make sure wherever we're kicking it, you have immediate access to a restroom. Yeah. Right. For your You're sleeping in the bed. ours benefit. <laughs> what about if he, what about if he's, he slept in the diaper? In the well, tub. If he sleeps in the Put him in the bathroom like Jojo the Whale. You don't want him sleeping over if he's sleeping in the diaper. Basically. Or or if you have to put like, it in yo, the bathroom homie, either. This is a little I, he over said the top, it, yo. He said it, you know, you got you to be realistic about your sleepovers. Right. Who the hell do you have sleeping over at this age anyway? Nobody. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody it's for this. almost any reason. I'll get to a hotel, but <laughs> yeah. you're really not you know, sleeping in the bed next you know, to that me. Is, that is I don't want to hear you sneeze or fart at night. So yeah. no, is, you're staying. You, know, get you get room. to a certain age, like, yeah. yo, you're not sleeping over. I'm a I'm a fair and generous person. Person, if you're my people, you could stay over. I run a risk by letting people because I, I believe they're good. There is the potential that someone could just wreck a room. I'll be like, right, yeah. right. That is the truth. Right. Someone could possibly wreck a room. Yeah, it right. could Probably. happen. You, you run a risk, you know, but you know, more than likely, <laughs> you're not really gonna have the homies just like sleeping over. Like, yo, man, like you know. There's a Motel 6 down the road. <laughs> uh, who, me? No, I'm not, you know. Yeah, at this stage. At this, I'm just saying at this stage in your life, 
you know, are you really going to be having the homies stay over? You better have a you plan. Not, man. Just <laughs> put them in a hotel, man. Put them in a hotel. Yeah, you you better a have a plan. Yeah. If you're going over to a married homie's house, you better have a goddamn mm-hmm. plan. Right. Oop, you better have Damn Uber right. ready to take your ass home. <laughs> hey, man, I'm really tired. That's great. I hope That's the car's great. getting yesterday. I'll yeah. call you an Uber. <laughs> exactly. You could get me back next time I see you. Hey, yo, B. What? <laughs> when I'm in your... <laughs> Don't even try it. I was gonna say when I'm in your neck of the woods tomorrow night, partying it up with all the ladies. Yeah. I was, can I crash at your place? With some hoes. He's gonna bring some hoes. You can crash at one of them ladies' house. <laughs> yeah. Take the adver- adventure further, Colton. Crash at their crib. See what happens. Let's be like, oh yeah, I know a guy. He's got a spot I can crash at. <laughs> yeah. Let me call uh, my boss. I got a tent. You could, you know, pop it up in my backyard, son. <laughs> <laughs> so you, yeah, there you go. There you go. Park it on my back lawn. <laughs> <laughs> I got, oh. got a little sleeping bag for you. A little portable heater. Perfect. You need a, <laughs> you need to kill a little camp light on the wild side. Got Set out a couple you. joints. Uh, I don't know. Oh, you're on your own, right there. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, if you if you're knocking on the door at like two or three in the morning, you better have a <laughs> damn good reason. They better be blood dripping they, down they, your they head. Number one, be yeah, something like, very serious. Something serious. You better very be bleeding, serious, man. You know? I mean, immediate. The story the story better be immediate. You better have found a treasure in my backyard that I didn't know about. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that can only be dug that up can at night. Only be dug up at night. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> <laughs> I found this. I found this treasure in uh, your backyard. We need to dig it up. Only between two and three a.m. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's yeah. do it right now. All right. Um, if you haven't smashed that like yet, please do so now. We encourage you to do this. We need you to do that. That is the like button with the thumbs up like this here. Smash it. Go on now. And, uh, crack that subscribe uh, button too. So you can get down with all the content we drop. Crack the all notification bell. You know what I'm saying? Get all the way in with Be Real TV. Dr. Green Thumb Show live Monday through Friday, 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on the Star 5 Eastern live. No pre-records. All live. All right. And we got more t- content coming next month. Um, and all through next year, obviously. The smoke box coming back in April. Uh, we look forward to bringing you all those, all right? And uh, we want to remind you about the mix after this on Twitch. Come get down with us, all right? This is uh, the place right here. Uh, the underscore real TV. Got an account on Twitch. Utilize it. Come check the mix. All right? And now it is that time. Oh yeah, we got a bunch of submissions up in here. We got the art of vlogs up in here with a little bit of tacos that he made. Mm. Is it a rice taco? <laughs> Seems like there is what rice. What the hell's going on? In the taco. Is that like a sushi? Yeah, this looks, it's a teriyaki. I mean, look, it might be good, man. It's teriyaki taco, son. <laughs> okay. I might try that. I mean, listen, the double carbs ain't good for my lifestyle. Old El Paso, delicious. that's what we was talking about earlier. Were you? Just them <laughs> Old El Paso shells yeah. right there. Classics. Those are like uh, cheese flavored shells, right? Yep. Nacho. Damn. White people tacos are made with those things. <laughs> oh, yeah. An offensive <laughs> topping. He said, oh, yeah. Offensive topping. Miracle Whip like, tacos. Yep. <laughs> offensive topping. Go. Like Miracle Whip tacos, exactly. <laughs> and we got David up in here saying, I had a really nice smoke session, then I had to dip into the cookie can. Uh, oh, those are, I hate those things. I mean, the, love, they've been around forever. It, it, forever. I love those. Like some of the kid, like you see that tin, it's like, oh, man. I love that milk yeah. right there. It's so it. good. Classic hey, pairing. Those butter cookies, man, they're so good. Uh, mm. It's almost like eating too many of them. That's, they just I'm going to eat at least three of those little shells worth of cookies. I love the pretzel. That's at least nine cookies. I'm going to eat nine of them. Yeah. Do you guys like to dip your cookies in milk? Yes, I do. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. It's great. <laughs> I shouldn't. 
Of course. <laughs> but I do. <laughs> <laughs> And we got Dean that. Jones up in here with a little Swedish pickled pork. Mm. He's from Australia. That looks great. I, tried. I don't know what that is, but it looks good. It's pre-cooked. It's there it is. It's pickled yeah. pork. Ooh. I mean, that okay. is looking fire. That was good. Well, corned beef is just pickled Ooh, beef. I got that it? same knife right there in the background. Ooh. Look at that. Wow. That, that looks that phenomenal, one too. my man. Nice little sandwich. Got some taco. That yeah. looks good, but I think... It could have been cooked a little bit less. No, I'm all about that burned outside, my man. I'm outside got to be yeah. burned. You oh, burn oh you outside. just meant the inside. Yeah, it looks like it's a little too dry. Oh, that's not good. I can't see that. Yeah. Yeah. Dry is not good. Moist. No. It needs to be wet. Uh, that's what she said. Like Marvell's mom. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> wow. 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 Going for the throat, man. <laughs> Unsolicited. Early. Incoming. Un Unprovoked. And we got Utah Hawk up in here. A few of my favorite submissions of 2022. Oh, man. Remember Damn. that? I do remember yeah. that. I thought we was getting that back in August. I thought we were having it, too. <laughs> yeah, we did not get it. Apparently not. Scumbag. Yeah. Mm. That's meatloaf. What, what, a lot it? of teas. This is a jalapeno popper. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, okay. that's his breakfast one, that's right? That's the one we were looking at first right Ooh. there. We should have been all up. A, that should have already been all up in our mouths. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, you know. <laughs> oh, hey. oh, 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 same team. Oh, look at, oh, Ooh. same team. What is that? That's a nice little breakfast spread. That looks good right there. You boy. start your day like that, I can tell you there's gonna be some problems <laughs> by midday. That's all I can say. Yeah, it's gonna be a noisy day. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> word up, a little man. noisy. If that's the start of your day, mm -hmm. look at the ingredients. Yeah. That's all noise. Yep. <laughs> 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 True that. Oh, he did that all noise. That's just, just volumes of noise. <laughs> the art of noise. Bop, 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 bop. He said, look at the ingredients. Ooh. It's all noise. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> hey, Utah Hawk, man. We just, we still, I, man, I'm going to try that. That looks serious, man. Yeah. Let's all chip in and get him a flight. Oh. That looks various. And a, and a, and a, and a trip to his, lo his favorite local store of choice to buy ingredients. It's very various. Oof. So various. And right. next up in here, we got Leo. He's saying he's showing off his Kush Life T-shirt and smoking a joint. Yeah. All right. Okay. It's a nice See joint. Yeah. Yeah. And we got our boy Roland up in here saying he stopped by Bobo Snack Bar up in Austin. Look at that. Oh. Bobo's expanding. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. Bobo worldwide, man. Totally expanding. Worldwide yeah. expansion. Hell to the yeah. Do it. Have to do it, you know. Sounds amazing. Diversify. <laughs> Diversify your fun. <laughs> That's real. I love that. <clears throat> do, do, do. Believe that. Bang, bang, bang. And we got our boy Doll went up in here saying, I finally got some funky field tips to end the year. Yes. Stay blessed to everyone. Word oh, up. Yeah. Got the Dr. Green Thumb tip, no less. <sighs> yes. Yeah. A great start. Now you need about 100 more. Mm -hmm. That. Or steady smoking. Less, that part. Less cleaning interruptions. <laughs> yeah. And we got Inner Realms up in here saying, Callie Blaze, the Concentrate King. I'm rolling up a one gram hash hole. Ooh. I've seen that. I, Look at I that can tag me in that one. Whoa. Looks good. It. Yes, it does. It looks it's good. A nice worm, bro. It don't sound right either, but <laughs> nice worm, <laughs> nice worm, <laughs> bruh. I gotta see the. I gotta see how this looks when it's done. Okay. Oh man, it looks good. Yeah, it's very oh, juvenile man. of us, but Extreme. it is what it is. <laughs> it looks good. We gotta avoid it. <laughs> uh, that's a nice roll. You're not bad, bro. Nice roll. I mean, it has to be on a baller tip. That yeah. you know, what I mean, that, yep. true that. You're right. There's no way you're putting a one gram slug in there on that little no, thing. No, it, would have, it'd be the, it wouldn't be one gram. Right. No. He's got at least two grams of flour, maybe three. Mm -hmm. Damn, that's tight. Proper ting. Proper ting. And we got Ryan M. up in here saying, the wife finally got me a funky field tip for Christmas. There we go. And this is my first roll. All right. Hope, you gave, her right. a, hope you gave her a Not funky bad. field tip for Christmas. Oh. Oh. Seriously, that's a thank you. That's a good try right it there, is, man. That's a good first roll. I'm bad. Tickle, tickle, tickle. It's going to get better. We hope. That's the first try. That's pretty I know, good. Man. Hey, look who's talking. Mr. Uh, being nice over here. Hey, that's the first try. 
Are you kidding me? Guy goes for blood. Well, he just yeah. barely got it. I hear you. If that was like the <laughs> fifth try, I'd be like, yo. Yeah, because that's definitely difficult to work for the first time you try it. It's Pro tip. Awkward. It takes it three times or more, three three or four times to get it, and then once you get it, you still, you know, you're dialing <laughs> Practice, it in. Yeah. You dial yeah. it in, yeah. Pro tip on the tip. If you have a... <laughs> If you have a, regardless of the logo that you have on, on, on the Funky, if the north, the north Hole, if there's enough room for the edge of the paper to go beyond that, be, you know, between the middle of it and the lip, go that distance. If you have plenty of room up front, because like, you know, like these 13 mils, you know, I could, I could stay in front of the hole uh, on the north, you know, and then time I pack it down, it gets over it. Point B I'm trying to make is when you roll it and you leave the edge of the paper right there in the hole, that's not that doesn't help you roll it better. That'll actually mess you up. Try to avoid that. Avoid it. Like if you saw that joint again, show that joint again. By the way, guys, Steph is a very good roller. You see that hole right there on the top? I mean, that might not even be the north hole. That, that could is. be on the south. That. That's the north. Yeah. So if that's the north. You could have you could have took the paper all the way past the logo. You could have tucked the logo under the paper. If there's no dip there, you wouldn't see that hole. Yeah, you know what I mean, so that's the north. All right. And next up in here, we got Daniel smoking on some Gorilla Skittles. Okay, Wonder. enjoy, man. Look at that. Yeah. Looks enjoyable. Also picked up some Wonder Bread <laughs> grapes of wrath. Ooh, that looks sir. Too. That's pretty. Very pretty. Mm-hmm. She looked nice. Oh, yeah. And we got rig rentals up in here taking a dab for the new year. That's on the nice egg. rig yeah. right there. On the egg. That's a puddle up there, too. Look at that. Yeah. That's a mother, that's a, right? That's a yeah. Cali Blaze puddle right there. That's the fact. Yeah, that's a nice egg right there. It's a nice, expensive rig right there. Mm hmm. Yeah. Look at that. Looks that's fun. Mother ship. Nice. Big time. That's what you hit this morning was a mother ship. <laughs> But a different style, a Klein. Uh, it seemed like he was still on the mothership. He, when was. he was. There yeah. is no such He's thing. There. He was in a beanbag and eating candy. So in his uh, mind, that's where he was. Yeah. yeah. They don't have still. They don't have not a single bad rig in the collection. No, nah. no, they don't. Give, give me, give me the cheapest one, and I'll be like, damn. Even man. the cheapest mothership is yeah. the dope one. Yeah. All right. And we got Jesus up in here saying, "Hanging out with the homies." Ha! Ah. Uh, oh, that's my skull. Funga, good people right there. Funga, dude. The fun guy Phil one. <laughs> See you next week. Yeah, hmm. <laughs> if you did all that. If you did all that, yeah. See you next week. <laughs> See you next week. Yeah. That's when you turn into a shaman. And next week is like actually next month. Yeah. <laughs> When you the become, size of it, it's not dehydrated. Ooh, yeah, that, don't dude. get me wrong. That thing yeah. has to be dehydrated. That's when you but become it's the shaman. Be big. How long would that keep you high right there? Longer than you want. Longer than you want. Than you <laughs> yeah. He said longer than yeah. you want. You know, it depends who you are, man. You know, those people eat mushrooms the way we smoke weed, right? Yeah. Sure. Meaning, like, yeah. you would not believe when they say, I take a half ounce at a time. They do. No. Because they take it every day the same way people don't believe the amount of weed we actually consume. In you know who yeah. they are, too, because they got that thousand yards. <laughs> yeah, they sure do. They're not. They sure do. <laughs> Dude. When you eat that much, of course, you're going to have a look for sure. Yeah, the homie in Vegas, he was like, yo, how do, you, like, how do you hang smoking all that weed? I was like, we trained for this. Yeah, man, all day. Well, you know, the shroom boys and That's girls, they do. Yeah. same thing. Same thing. They same train team. for that. Same team. Yeah. Same, same team. team. It's got, yeah. And we got Tim up in here saying, this is how we be watching the Dr. Green Thumb show now. Got a cheap nice. projector on oh, Amazon wow. on the 100-inch screen. Yeah. All right. That's tight. Those projectors are good these days, man. Yeah. They make some Much really better, good. yeah. 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 Cool. I know somebody blew it up on their wall and it looked really good. Yeah. And we got Red Iserman up in here taking a dab for the show. <sighs> what up, Iserman? Iserman's getting higher, man. Yeah. Get higher. Say, Get higher, baby. I don't want to say Get he should have. He should have cleaned that rig first. It don't never come down. No, it looks. Or is it, that just maybe from the burn? I can't Dude, tell. It's hard bed. It's hard to see. It's so dark. He took some good rips though, man. Yeah, I saw that. Some Legit. good sugar lugs, man. Legit. Oh, he made yep. the sound. He wasn't pussyfooting. He made the sound. That's that terp slurper sound. That, Watch. Listen to the sound. Hold on. 
watch. Watch when he starts to give it up. Oh. There it goes. Here it comes. Brace yourself. Here it goes. Watch. That's a pretty long draw not hit. Sure was. <laughs> I think that's yeah. the extended. That's a deep one right there. Yep. Looks right. like a Toro Extendo. That's the one I got. That thing gives you some rips. And yeah. it's good because it's, it's longer. So the turps don't shoot back into the stem into your rig more. So it keeps them from going, climbing over that wall yeah. faster. That's smart. It is. Work. You don't get so much into your rig. And we got Ed G from the IE saying, want to wish everyone at the table a happy new year. Stay positive and strong and check out the new ink. Nice. Oh, oh nice. Mm-hmm. Happy New Year to you. Yeah, Happy yes. New Year, man. That's rad. Oh, yeah. Clean. It's a nice eyeball. He's fucking looking at you, man. He's looking at you, kid. Hey, he's staring, man. All right. He's looking yeah. at you, Bobo. Yep. What are you looking at? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I think he just said, he's looking you. at you. <laughs> <laughs> looking at me. Hey, you. Hey, you. Hey, you. And the next one up here, we got this sent in, a pickled corn dog. What do you guys think a about this? Ooh, corn uh, you know what? Okay. No, that's, oh, I see. Okay. Oh, yes. oh. Oh. Okay. This is different. Oh, yeah, it's like a, fr a big fried pickle. Yeah, that would that probably yeah. be really good. Yes, yeah. it would. With yeah, I'd have to it take would. it off the damn stick. But that might be just like a big fried pickle, man. Yeah, yeah look at that. Probably damn good. Yeah. How do you eat? Oh, that, with though? a corn dog. Wait, that what? Honey the fuck? Yeah, see, it's like yeah. he hollowed out a pickle. Yeah, put a hot dog okay, in man. the pickle, and, and then made the and then corn made dog. a corn dog. What the fuck kind of sorcery is that? Yeah, I'm in. I have to try. I would try it. <laughs> yeah, I would. I would definitely wow. try it. I definitely what want to try it. Fuck. Where the hell is that? <laughs> Where I, is that? That's right. I'll tell you, probably man. Probably pretty good. That's probably good. Ooh. Yeah, that'd probably be really good. That's probably I, good. Bart? That, <laughs> Bart? The next one. <laughs> Bring that bar on it. Put it, put it, put it, put it in the I'll, smoker. He said we're going to put it we'll in the smoke smoker. We'll smoke that, yeah. Ooh. Put it in the smoker. Smoked corn dog. We're going to smoke the hot dog. All right. Fry them and smoke them. All right. And you guys know how it's been like very icy and snowy lately. We icy? Got, we got a few clips sent in of that. Of the ice. Oh, oh man, this is yeah. unfortunate. Oh, yep. Sliding every year. You Fuck slide. your house. Yep, exactly. <laughs> wow. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So, oh my gosh. look at her butt. Oh. <gasps> at least they had the decency to stop oh recording, like she was oh gonna run god. over there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No. She should have let off the brakes and tried to take that turn off. Got a little, yeah. put a little gas on it. Change the direction some. So, oh, when you're sliding there's, like there's that, there's really nothing, nothing you could yeah, do. Yeah, nothing. not with that much momentum. So, hitting the brakes, even like hitting the brakes, the worst thing you could do. My just question. That's what I, I'm saying. You're fucked. You're just oh, yeah. fucked. My question in this situation: Can you, as a resident in a city like that, get your home insured for something against? Your like home that? is insured for shit like that. Like, and your car. Yeah, your car too. Yeah. Both yeah, of because look at, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at. Oh, oh, look at that! Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, oh, what a move dude. that oh, was. What tap. a move that is. Wow. Oh, wow. that's brilliant. That's pretty good. I bet you still hit my fucking oh. bumper. Oh. <laughs> His head, dude. Wait yeah, that, oh, that, there oh, they go. Oh, 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 no, oh, 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 oh. So his oh, move was oh. shit. All that was for nothing. For nothing. Yeah, he thought he was oh, a jig. Oh, man, that's scary, dude. What an idiot ice is scary dude yeah and then he got out and split his nipples the second he got out of the and car and then yeah. the car starts trying to talk going down the hill yeah. and that person that's right it. there yeah because like... all this is one video look <laughs> he gets name? out he <laughs> tries to say something boom <laughs> he slips and then he's not realizing it but the car is now going backwards oh, pushing man. her shit down the boom all right Dumbasses. Oh, look at oh. And some more. Look, a, a yeah. row of cars. Always. Oh, There's oh. always numerous idiots. Like bumper cars. Yeah. But no one's playing. Damn. 
Still oh, fucking so are you car. supposed to have the the cars on chains at this point? No, you're supposed Nothing to have enough sense to stay home. Yeah, yeah. Right. But some of the cars are just home. <laughs> they just got hit. They just got hit. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, and they live on an yep. incline. Yep. Which is or wild. A decline, whatever. So that's Seattle. You Washington. live on an incline. Just don't be a dummy. Move your car to the bottom of the hill. You just get hit harder and faster They're from everyone else. Coming flying. There's really no win yeah, situation no. in that. Yeah. Right. Because one car. Touches the other one, it's like a domino effect. That's it. You might be able to look on a and on most given days, you could park your car on that hill. There's no issue. Days like this where you know the forecast is coming, you got at least a heads up. It didn't catch them off guard. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, that's when you pony up, you go get to that local parking garage and you find yourself a nice spot in the garage. Unless they got lazy. And well, then unless you take they hope Uber somebody home. hits that car so they can get rid of it. Yeah. Like, please hit my car. <clears throat> please. <clears throat> Damn. Mm-hmm. Ain't yeah. trying to drive in that. That type of weather. Nah, no, you should Let alone walk. Mm-mm. Would uh, you guys like to uh, drive through a tornado alley? No. Who no. the fuck wanted to, hey, you want to drive through no. a tornado? People do. Yeah, yeah, like one out of 75 billion. That, They're idiots. No, that's scary. Uh-uh. Yeah. No, thank you. Because those things turn out of nowhere and then throw yep. somebody and kill them. That's what happens. Dude, look at that. Because there's always man, the idiots who rolling, die. And they're rolling towards Yeah, they're crazy. Man, right out of their mind. Man, look at that. Nope. No, thank we you. gotta see it. There's like side tornadoes going on and everything. Like, look at that. You're bad. Ba- Ooh, no, 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 no. Hey, he's getting some. Look ground at this up. guy. Yeah, he's really <laughs> literally chasing it. it this can- guy is an idiot, man. Look at him. Holy shit. Yeah, no. This, Yo, this guy's chasing crazy. It. That's a pretty. I hope that's CGI, bro. How fast is it going? No, that's going as fast as he's driving. That's Yo, for sure. that guy's out of his And well, there's that one off to the right. <laughs> Yo, no, thank you. Yeah. Nah, man. I mean, those storm That's chasers. That's multiple. Storm like, chaser, crazy. yeah. Man. Fuck out of here. Storm chasers. Yeah, but why you? There's chasing. like an F3 and an F2 or whatever to the right of it. Look at that. Yeah, and you're Double. and you're looking. You're paying attention to the one in front of you because yeah. that's your target. Then you get sidetracked. Meanwhile, there's one right up your ass. Yep. Yep. If there's two, there's a third one. Don't trip. It's because they're all the trying time. to win awards, like uncovering these things. So they'll put themselves in mm-hmm. in the line of the fire. What's it called? The Darwin Award? Something. <laughs> 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 All right. And next up in here is my, next one. one. For sure. This next one's called Don't Block Traffic. Oh, yeah, no. Don't, don't be a dummy. Oh, what an idiot. Car versus human. Human loses every time. Rick and Morty. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! I mean, unfortunately. Oh, that sucks. Ha <laughs> <laughs> traffic cone at her. <laughs> What a hit, though. Straight to the dome. Watch. Good night. Oh! <laughs> wow. So good. Oh, Holy shite. So good. You know, and that, she'll know in, in hindsight that it was far better to have been hit by that cone than that car. Yes. True that. I mean, she, somebody saved her life. True that. And this next one's called a Dad's Reaction to the Amount of Christmas Gifts Under the Tree. <coughs> Stupid. Did Santa, did Santa just go to no other house or something? Just <laughs> drop him off up from here? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Huh? Hey, did you know we won the fucking lottery? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is what we spend it on. Christmas. High five, bro. We have a big family. They're all coming this morning. They'll be here soon. They're all gonna be here? Everyone. I thought it'd be great. (laughs) This is fucking stupid. Is this in Canada? Fucking A, maybe Minnesota. Just go no other house or something? (laughs) Oh yeah. Huh? 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 Oh don't you know? Hey, did you know we won the fucking lottery? (laughs) He's like, look at all my money. (laughs) <laughs> That's what he said. This God damn money. right. <laughs> it was great. He's like, all my money. What's up? My hard earned money is all under this tree right here. <laughs> oh, boy. He he had a he had nice little beer in his hand. He is speaking freely, son. <laughs> Santa didn't go to no other houses. Did you know we hit the fucking lottery? <laughs> oh, shit. This next one's pretty wild. We got a little mountain lion versus man. Oh, what? Oh, oh I seen this. I sent it oh, to the no. group. You guys suck. I sent this to you. <laughs> it did. I saw Everybody it. Everybody reacts. Thank you, Ray. You Get did. Back. Terrible. 
We should have been screaming at it. Word up and standing. Ah! I'm mm. gonna fire the warning shot already. Yep. Well, hey, homie. Yeah. Mm. He's got the. Eyes yeah, because what if you fall down? Yeah, he waited too long. To yeah, that thing was ready to come at you. Man. Oh, you're a shitty shot, buddy. When your adrenaline's going, that's not as easy. Be <laughs> getting tra- yeah. tracked by a, li- a t- oh, cheetah, man. whatever the and fuck that, that hey, was. And that metal lion's not running off from the No, he wasn't that. even scared when he was shooting me. He barely flinched. Yeah, he barely flinched. Yep. Fuck that, man. Man. What a mountain lion. Oh, yeah. Look at that, dude. That I thought I saw spots on that best. He was just, about to go for him. That's the scariest Get sight. Back. It this sure is, is, man. Yeah, the one thing with the mountain lion is you never want to give it your back. Ever. Yeah, hell no. Yeah. This is not a call of duty. Show nope. some respect. Stay out of the mountain lion's house. Word up. That is not. If it says caution, mountain lion area, then don't Fuck go off, over there. Yeah. Yep. Bam. Like I, was... I respect the, the 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 need of the gun. You need yes, to, you you to you protect stay alive, bro. Yeah. Look, yeah. He wasn't even you. afraid of that second not shot. It was the first shot that yep. scared them. the shit out of him. The second one didn't do nothing. He was just like, whatever. Whoa, man. He's like, all right, then. All right, whatever. You're you going to make this hard. <laughs> or you going to be like no that. no joke, man. Uh, you can never turn you your up. back on that animal. Yeah, never. I ain't trying to go in the wild like that. Nah. Stay need, the fuck out of their house. I don't need to see all that. Ow. On TV, is great. Yeah. I'm an animal lover, but if I would have seen that thing, I'll pop shoot up, it too. I, I would have been able to shot 10 minutes before that guy. I respect I want the you love. To know that. And I love animals, but the second he was tracking me like that, bah, 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 well, yeah, I'm load on that fool. Absolutely. Not to try to kill him. I'm just not trying to be a... Tiger meat, I mean lion meat. Yeah. I, res- I respect the love of nature and being Me out too. there in the, in the splendor of, of of existence as we know it. I get that. Just yeah. stay out of their home and then you don't have to shoot them. Yeah, you don't, you know what I mean? Yeah. Stay put- out of their area and you don't have to shoot them. Yeah. They don't have to put you on the menu. True. You don't got to fight yeah. your yep. way off the menu. Yep. Yeah. That's a pretty good <laughs> compromise. Yeah, just have some respect. They, Word up. You, you're coming into their house. And it ain't their fault Agreed. that they were like, damn, this motherfucker's up in my spot. And this right. is my, yeah, my instinct tells me to okay. kill this dude. Yeah, it's Word. not their fault. We got a little kitchen fail. Uh-oh. Oh, I Uh-oh. sent this too, damn it. I get no respect. Oh, this is, yeah. hey, Cole, <laughs> he no does the respect. same to me too, Blaze. Some grease. We in here trying to open up Christmas presents and we got a whole fire going. Oh, no, this Wait. is horrible. Oh, terrible. This is horrible. Look at this. this I is... don't know. What? Jeez. You the one putting water? Oh. Mama! Mama! Yep, you oh, thank fire. God. I hope they're all right because that shit what happens burn, every dude? year. That's somebody's Don't mother that did, did, did that. Oil. Like, why would yeah. you? Like, you're you're someone's mom and you don't know this trick. So, and you don't right. You don't know that water and uh, yeah. oil and water do not mix. Salt, baby. That's the worst thing you can do is put that thing in that. that, that hair, is the, and even homegirl was telling her, "You're gonna put that in that, water." Exactly, exactly yeah, what she said. Grease. She said <laughs> some grease. We in here trying to open up Christmas presents and we got a whole fire going. It's going to explode. It's going to explode. Oh, no. You the one putting water? Mama! Mama! I hope oh Mama God, got the dude. hell out of there. Mama's that. fucking stupid. Yeah, <laughs> yeah hey, she's Mama's there. She learned. Jesus. On, she learned. Yeah, if you don't she know that. She learned that day. Yeah, yeah if you don't sure know did. that those two don't go together yeah. at this point. Merry Christmas. Sand or salt? I would say that every everyone should keep a. a I'm gonna have to get me a little bucket of sand for. Or if you have the right stuff. fire extinguisher, yeah. just, just a little bit that of sand. Too. That's an easy cleanup too. Yeah. If you don't got a fire extinguisher, you gotta put salt. Which you on should it. have in your kitchen, people, for real. Yeah. Salt or sand. Just shit like that happens. Now I know you yeah. ain't got a bag of sand, <laughs> but you might have some salt. Yeah. And you put that on there. Um, next. And this one up in here, we got a little mouse fail. We got snacks killing a mouse. Oh, let's see what it is. Snacks don't like mice. Hey. Feel for real though. Snacks don't Did like mice, it? my. Yeah, feel for real. Go, run uh, free, little man. Oh my God. Oh, yeah. Here come snacks. <laughs> is he okay? Oh my God. Bam! But hold up. He's running away. Oh. There he's running. He's- like, oh. Oh. <laughs> Snacks is like, yeah. I They're like, no. Yeah, man. <laughs> is back on the menu, boy. Snacks, okay. Snacks couldn't run quick. They were trying to do the right thing. Little mouse couldn't run I'm quick free, enough. Oh, you do Hey, that's not oh, even a so meal so for Snacks, really? though. That's like a snack. Oh. It's a snack for Snacks. <laughs> snacks. Oh, no. That was a small bird. Too. What do you mean? You were just. <laughs> Why are they All like right. that? Next. 
They were way too traumatized. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Yo, did you see the turkey one I sent in? Did you have a... Yep, you, actually, um, you played it? Of I course, literally have that next. Uh, no! You son of a bitch! Everything I send, but you guys don't even like it when I send it. That's why I'm like, I'm out of this chat. You guys send over a bunch of crap that I got to scan through. I send fucking gold into this thing and can't even get a like. Yo, I'm God, the one. Play the next one. Well, we're please. putting it on right I'm now. I'm recording them for you. I, hate I you, got man. them. I'm just talking about in the chat, B. That's <laughs> it, man. No right. love. I get no respect. Dude, no, you, I get no, no, get respect. no respect. You post some funny stuff. <laughs> you do post funny stuff. Thanks, All right, man. let's see this funny stuff. All right, so here's <laughs> some terrible. funny stuff with Callie Blaze. <laughs> Doors open. Get the fuck out. <laughs> oh. oh, that's better. Well, he didn't make it very far. Neat. That was the craziest fucking thing that ever happened. Seventy miles fucking per hour, a fucking bird. <laughs> Holy oh my god, dude! <laughs> Yo! So that was his fucking karma. Yeah, bro. That he, I don't know that guy. That was the guy who hit the bird. Oh, I see. That's the guy who was driving the car. So the guy, him. Oh, that's his video after. So this yeah, dude posted the one video, and this guy posted the next video saying, I'm the guy who just, this bird came through my fucking window. What a dick this guy is for letting the fucking turkey In the highway. Out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was mean. the craziest fucking thing that ever happens. <laughs> oh. 70 miles fucking per hour, a fucking bird. <laughs> oh, just... You could tell he, he was like a bird. He's a bird. It's a turkey. Oh, you you got to uh, go to my IG and pill the one that I posted today. Oh, I've seen that. That one's uh, pretty crazy. That is crazy. That's balls, man. That's, balls that's fast. Right yeah. yep. Was it uh, this one? No, no that's not no. it. But this is a good one, too. Go ahead and run that. Go ahead and run it. E E-Zone would have loved this. <laughs> what is it? Fuck them kids? This is not a kid. No, he's not a kid. Oh! oh. 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 It was like, you know what? But the oh, you want was, some, kid? But the All goat's right. like, you want smoke? I got it for you right yep. here. That goat just changed his life. Hey, but ah, this, like, this is like a Hezbollah. What a bad yeah, yeah, yeah. idea. This little homie, a little Let's Mexican Hezbollah. Yeah, well, oh. he done fucked up. Hey, Joe says, I win, done. bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a little kick, He's though. Los Bola. Wow. <laughs> That's Los Bola right that there. Was direct, that was direct to the dome. Los it Bola. was direct to his dome. The skull to eh. skull. He was like, That's how we do it in the sheep world. <laughs> Head to head. No, son. it looked like it was slightly face chest. Oh, really? Mm. Knocked the wind out. Bro, he's only like 19 inches. It's his entire body. <laughs> yeah, <his> whole body. <laughs> yeah, it's whole body shot. Dude, All right. No, that's not the one, but that, that, that was the, the I shopping got, cart. I got five on it. says that little kid never squares up with the sheep. Ever. I don't think yeah, that's a little kid. A full no, that's a grown man. That's, that's a, a grown man? Yeah, that's yeah. Hasbullah? Like no, a, no, no, it's, it's another like, dude like him. He's like Hasbullah, like a little person like that. I bet you he don't square up to another. No, he ain't squaring again. up to another goat. Nope. Mm -mm. Goat. Yeah. Not the goat. Oh. Yeah. That's now that's thug life, bro. Homie's doing like 40, 50. Yeah, that's in the a rain. shopping cart. Yeah. All it takes is one good bump. Yo. One pot. Lights out. One pothole and that's it's over. Gangster. Oh, man. We sketched in the snow, but that's on a bus doing 15 miles an hour, barely moving through the snow. Homie's in a shop on a garden. highway. On a in highway. Tra tra yeah, in, in traffic. In traffic, flying. In a <laughs> shopping cart <laughs> yeah, with those cheap ass wheels. Yeah. Next I, level. We did not do that. That, and is, that is crazy. Wow. That truck has got some chemical in it. It's not like, you know. <laughs> yeah, <it works. laughs> not, you know what I mean? So if, that, it was, if it crashes, oh, all of a sudden. It's like a petroleum it's, truck. No. It's, it's, uh, it's like, what the fuck? It's like, <laughs> my. That's crazy. Hey, my. Yeah, that, that that's next cart. level, man. That looks so dangerous. It is. Yeah, it definitely is dangerous. <laughs> yeah. dum, you dum, 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 Would you like dum, to do dum, this? Dum, 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 I could dum, see E-Zone challenging X X XG to do this. In a cart I race? I dare you, fool. Yeah. In a cart race. I oh. dare you. I bet you you won't do it. For papeles. <laughs> and he'd be like, you're fucking right. I ain't going to do it. <laughs> yeah. But what if a hot stripper was hanging out on that little <laughs> ladder on the back right there, though? 
No. Maybe. It make What's it hot. wrong? <laughs> no, what <laughs> anybody. That poor stripper. If that's all it takes for you to get in that cart, then life mm-hmm. is fucked, man. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were talking about if X would do it. Oh, if X <laughs> oh. would do it. Different story. Yeah. Para papeles. Para papeles. <laughs> for the papers for show. If I could get you some <laughs> papers, will you do it? Yes. Yeah, mm. oh. Hell yeah, fool. <laughs> Hell yeah, dog. And that seems to be it. All right. Thank you for the submissions. Keep them coming to be real TV contest at gmail.com and we will run them just like this lottery number 03-32-12-30-74. If you hit with these numbers, 10%. <laughs> This is be real new TV. gig is just it. throwing out numbers. And Open pa- hit on one. And your power <laughs> and your Powerball number is nine. Ah. Oh. Nine. According to Eric Bobo. Nine. 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 Is 74 a real number in the lotto? <laughs> he said 90. Probably not. 20, it's it's like 90. 90. It's nine. Okay, let's say 47 then. There you go. Flip, Flip it. 74. 98. I, I think 74 is a number. Is it? it could is be. it? I, I think it, it's 60. I thought it only went to How 60, many numbers yeah, right? does it go I, thought it I feel to... like it goes into the 80s. Does on, it? On the power and the mega. Really? Yeah. It might. Power and power. The 90s ball? sounded mega. All right. That's What's the up. numbers up there, boys? No. Let's let's open up the doors <laughs> to the insane asylum. That means y'all in the live chat. So if you got a comment, question, shout out, suggestion, now is the time. Welcome to the insane asylum. All right, let's do this. First one of the year, we got Disco Daphne up in here saying thanks, Be Real TV, for helping me get through a clown world this year. Well, thank you very much for being with us, and, you know, we do what we can. Yeah. Hell yeah. And we got Scarecrow up in here saying, I'm from Boston, and I just moved over to Northridge, California. Oh. Nice. Sorry to hear where you're from, but you came to a good place. Much oh. warmer. <laughs> Boston's cool. Welcome. Yeah, yeah. It's Boston's cool. cool, but it's cold right now, baby. Oh, man. Freeze. Hey. Hella cold. Everything over on that side is getting hit with that winter storm, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A couple days before Christmas, it was below zero wind wind chill in New York City. Because it was like seven degrees with the wind chills below zero. That's crazy. Facts. Yeah. B. I don't miss that. Nah. <laughs> Keep it. Hell no. Nah. And we got Utah Hawk up in here saying Jamie Kennedy on the show. That was a great podcast. Oh, that also yes. was a great podcast. Yes. That was a good one. That was a good one. And we got Karina up in here saying, Happy Friday, fam. Wishing everyone and their families an awesome new year. Thanks again to all of you for everything y'all do. Table and the THC crew, much love. Happy New Year's to you, man. Going in, going with some positive vibes and all all positive manifestation. You know what I mean? Think about the things you want to do and, and that you want to accomplish and see yourself accomplishing them, man. Go on with that vibe. And we got Hesh right up in here saying, LOL, pissing in the closet. That shit happened to me in Vegas. <laughs> yeah. Closets have been pissed. <laughs> many, many a closet. <laughs> I've been shoes. mistaken for urinals. Hampered. In dreams. Yeah, man. Pissing in shoes. Oh. <laughs> and we got Roland Salzar up in here saying, Happy New Year and great weekend vibes from Claudia and DJ Roland Stoned. And he's asking, will the brisket king ever return to the table? Yeah, he's... Uh, yeah, he'll be at the table at some point. Ah, come on. Ah. <laughs> and we got Torres up in here saying, same equipo? Equipo? <laughs> equipo. Same equipo. 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 <clears throat> yeah, that means team. Same team. Right. And we got M. Kush G up in here saying, happy new year to the entire Dr. Green Thumb crew. Best show on YouTube and much love. Spread Avenue. the word about that. Tell Thank people, you. you know what I'm saying? Share the show out. Tell your other friends. Be like, yo, you ain't seen this shit? Come on. Tell your mama. And we but, got, oh, what were you going to say? And thank you. And we got Alexander up in here saying, back in the day when I was smoking, I was eating sweets every time when I was being high. Nowadays, I almost don't do it at all anymore. What happened? What, eat sweets? Or yeah, I mean, like, the side effects weed. get less. When yeah. you smoke weed, you yeah, get less get, munchies. Yeah, I don't, I don't get, get those type of munchies like Me that. Me neither. Yeah. Uh, I'll say I, I still yeah. do if I'm up to a certain point. Like, if I'm up past midnight. Oh, forget that, bro. Late night, we're talking to enter in a whole new realm. Once eat. it passes, like, 10 o'clock, 
for all Late I want. Night, right? it, yeah, it's, it's yeah. hard to, to resist. It's, and that's where the bad times are. Yeah. That's Late yeah, that's night. That's where you must resist. Back. Yeah, that's where it's like fruit Hardest. time or like you know what I mean. So it's like hard. not as much fun, but you like you know that'll right. work. That's, that's where yeah. you find yourself like you know what I better go to sleep and have everything. Yeah, this goddamn yeah. pantry. For or, sure. Or, what about yeah, a piece exactly. of cake? Anything, it's all sure. great at that time. Yep, at but that see, time, everything is delicious. Yeah. Whether you should have it or not is the questionable part. Yeah. Whether it's going to be delicious or not, we already know it is. You don't, usually shouldn't have it. But. Don't feed the mogwai after midnight. Oh, exactly, man. party happens. <laughs> and we got Benji up in here saying, "Under the tongue is best for RSO," and he says he mixes it with coconut oil. Okay. Well, yeah, oh, wow. it is. It is under if you're if you're trying to taste it, but if you're trying to like just get it into your system, the gel cap into the belly, son. There's no more effective way than that. There's no, it, it doesn't have to absorb anywhere. It is in the system. Have your milk and cookies, and then when you're done, you chase Ooh. it with the capsule. That's right. Ooh. Well, take the capsule before. Or you see. could take the capsule before. Yeah, yeah. let it hit you quicker. Oh wow! Empty stomach, man. Go yep, for it. It'll hit you stomach. way quicker. Yep. If you got food in there, you'll you won't know, man. It could be an hour and a half, three hours. You don't know well, when you should really come, do it on but it will come. I mean, if you want to feel it faster, faster, yes. Yep. You're you're gonna feel it and but, baby. But but you'll feel it faster if your stomach is empty, yes. If that's you, with I anything. I think if you want to feel anything. it when you wake up, you let it come after. Yeah. Yeah. That too. I felt it when I woke up, boy. <laughs> That way rust and I ate too. Like that's probably why it hit, it hit. me later. Or but when you know, it hit, but when it hit, my God, did it? You know hit. what I think happened? It probably hit you hours early. It just hit you hard enough to wake you up at that point. Because it probably, if you were awake, it probably would have hit you earlier. It just Could woke be. you up because like, hey, bro, we're too high to sleep. We're here. Right now. Yeah, exactly. We're too high to sleep. Like, I know I've done the old. Let me take the edible to go to sleep, and the edible didn't kick in. I'm like, damn, man, I fall asleep. And I wake up, and I can't go back to sleep because I'm extremely oh, I, hot. I could totally go back. To yeah, sleep but this, because my mindset is this is why I'm using it for. Yeah. So like it snaps in. I could just feel it in a and different way. In. Like my sleep is much more heavy. Like, yeah. you know, like when 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 you're asleep or unconscious, your body is weight. You know, you don't feel the weight of your body. Right. So it would be hard for someone to come pick you up because it's all dead weight. Because you're unconscious, right? You're not stiffed out. All your weight is just planted. I would dare someone to try to pick me up. <laughs> when that's happening? When that's happening. Because I felt like I was like the heaviest in life. Dead weight. Dead weight. Yep. All right. We got, Mr. Funk we got Mr. Funky up in here saying the last cowbell of the year. The last. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's 20 minutes. We yeah, I was about to another. someone else can come out with another cowbell now. You got another cowbell. Just because they want the last one of the year. You were a little premature on your bell. Yeah, you held. You got at least one. Of the, work on that bell. You work. could say one of the last <laughs> cowbell. Your bell, yeah. your bell work. Your needs bell work. work needs work. Check back in in about 15 or 20 minutes. <laughs> work. Okay, I'm gonna butcher this next one. You I know sure you are. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. we know. <laughs> we got underground one up in here give, saying, "Feliz ano nuevo pulgar verde fam." Mucho gracias, poor incredible twenty. <laughs> poor incredible. Poor in crip. They crip. fucked crip. up on that one. They oh, fucked up man. on that one. Twenty twenty two, and he's saying to Tambian Bolton. <laughs> All right, let's Tambian. start at the top. Feliz. 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 Uh huh. Ano. Año. 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 Feliz año. Feliz año. Okay. Nuevo. Nuevo. <laughs> Feliz año nuevo. Pulgar. Polgar. 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 Police ano nuevo Polgar. Verde fam. It's because there's no año sign on the año. Okay. Even if there was, he wouldn't have said anything. No, I think he would have distinguished it. It's the ano. And he's saying gracias por. Right. Increíble. Incredible. Increíble. Increíble. They wrote in, I N. It's supposed to be un, por un increíble. Por un cre increíble. Tu también. Is it time? Tu también. It's time to officially assign 
<laughs> Bolton nightly homework. Yes. Hey, and all he has to do is just <laughs> listen to it and do his best to keep mimicking it every night. You know, like it's like he's learning rap or something. You know? I think it'll get worse, I swear. You think? I, I, I just think, like, if he had an audio reference to, to you know, no. to have a base. He is, he is we are the and audio exactly reference, and he's been like, he can't heard. get it. Lo siento. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, oh, look at that. There, that's pretty good. Really? I do. I actually, I you want to oh, know what? Shit. I did a little basic Spanish on like Monday for like 10 minutes on YouTube. I was like, wow. let me try this out a little bit. Wrote That's down what I'm talking words, about. He's putting in work on phrases. it now. Yeah, you then, know what? I actually nice. did it. I applaud you. Expert. I was going to say, you know what? I'm going to do that a couple it times don't a show week. Bo- bo- bolted <laughs> Rosetta Stone, buddy. Rosetta <laughs> Stone. All right, next. <laughs> and we have uh, Karina back up and you're saying, I once had to convince myself it was okay to pee because I actually was in the washroom. I woke up immediately in a wet bed. Sadly, yeah. I was not drunk. Really? <laughs> she said sadly, I was I not was drunk. not drunk. Yes. <laughs> oh. Shout out to you for that admission. Hey, it could, I wish it, I hey, it could happen to people that aren't drunk. Anybody. The yeah. dream is like real as hell. They are. You know what I mean? And you might have yep. <laughs> had too much water yep. before you went to sleep, sleep. Man, when you know when you have those type of dreams that you can feel, Oof. like you can feel like when you're falling, or you can feel when you're driving or walking, but when you are dreaming and you have that piss, you you better just <laughs> shit is real, it. son. It's wake real. up, wake yeah, up, wake up, son. Wake up. Yeah. It's really it's real. Better have down. that alarm clock in your head. Wake up. <laughs> you need to wake. Because that first up. trickle comes out, it's done. <laughs> <laughs> Next. And we got Joseph Mole up, and you're saying to all the drivers out there, it's scary on the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah bunch right of now, idiots always. Right yeah. now it is it, because you know the weather is just extremely fucked everywhere. Right now we're getting kind of like wet weather, but it's not so bad. But even the lightest of rain causes accidents here because the, the oil from the 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 highway comes up with the light rain. Not so much on the heavy rain, but it's you're right rain. because like in the East Coast we get so much rain that don't happen. You know, I didn't learn that riding on a motorcycle till oh. I was like, oh, you don't know, man. When it just that little bit of rain comes, it's yeah. like riding on ice. Slick. It's, it's super slick, slick right? Man. Yeah, because yeah. all that oil and all that builds up for yep. so long. So when it just rains a little, bro, it's dangerous. You'd rather yeah. it rain heavy. Absolutely. Right. You get more traction. Yep. For you know, sure. Same over here for uh, you know for L.A. Yeah. That first rain, that's when you hear about like the 300 Absolutely. accidents in one yeah. day. You're yep. just like it's crazy. It just, Makes all the roads slick, and everyone's oh, I forgot. Yeah, drive. that's not a myth. That, that no. really no, actually real. happens. Yeah. Yes. It's real is real, baby. Really, really real. And we got Royal James T up in here asking, be real. Yeah. Are you into camping? When I was younger, yeah. I mean, I'd still do it now if we went, like, with Hell the group. Yeah. Like, you know, if we all decided, you know, we're going to Be real a, TV camping oh, trip. Yeah. Like, oh, there you go. Like, like we used to, you that know, like started. Steph Tone and myself and, and a few <coughs> of us here have, have done camping trips with, with our True. groups going up there. And we had mad fun. I wouldn't go just like yeah. a small group of people. That's never cool. To me, <laughs> I said that's never cool. It's well, just not. a small group of people. Why is like? <laughs> How about just your family? That's not. How much is small? Oh yeah, what's it's just, define it's, small? It's just harder doing it that way. I'm saying, you know what I mean? It's better when you got a bigger yeah. group of people. You know, you could protect each other. One, you know, and. It's you're stronger with more numbers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not a person that just could go with my immediate family and not get fucked with. If yeah. they, if you're someone, the one, cats for one sure. group of people recognize, then I'll be having like a bunch of people True. Right. coming through, and then you just never know out there. So like, I'd oh, rather like do it like do it big with with the family, it. but you know, with with our with our big with our circle of people, you know, right I mean? to go up there. And we'd all have a good time anyway if yeah. we were all up there as Ooh. opposed to... Yeah. We should do something like you know that. What I'm saying? I'd so, be down. 100%. Yeah, but I, I'm, I'm down for camping and stuff like that. And we got Midget Mike up in here asking, be real, do you miss your days of having private privacy? Uh, I don't think about him enough to miss him. You know what I mean? Nice. This is my reality. So, like, I've accepted that many years back. Um. Sometimes it's it's still tough, but, you know, once you accept it and embrace it and be like, this is a part of what the dream was, it's not as, it's, it's, it's not as troubling to you. Yeah, you know, it's, it's what you allow, right? I could allow it to piss me off and 
allow it to stress me out. But then what good does that do me? Because it's a part of the game. I'm going to have to do it no matter what. And it makes you feel good to know those people care about you and follow yeah. you and support you. So it's, it's like a good feeling. Yeah. So it's like I look at it in a positive light as opposed to a negative. Because if I looked at it in a negative light, it would be miserable having to do it. So I look at it, you know, like this is a blessing. And this is what I signed up for. And here it is. Bam! Wow. Well. Yeah. And we got Rex up in here asking the table. Any of you guys ever consider taking a tea break, tolerance break, like Bobo did? Well, Bobo had to. <laughs> yeah, he it's didn't not like he decided was to. Please, let's yeah, voluntary. thank you. He, was forced he didn't upon take him. A, a tolerance break. He didn't wake up. He's not he trying to judge give toast. Bobo too many flowers yeah. over here. No, 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 no. <laughs> the only flowers that I I deserve is that I made it through. Yes, you deserve those flowers. Without absolutely. a hitch. Yeah, man. I didn't did get that. in trouble. Choosing that was not. But <laughs> and the reason I say no to the tolerance break for me, sure. the only way a tolerance break is gonna work is if when you start smoking again, you don't smoke like you used to. My tolerance breaks are usually from um, LAX to Heathrow. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh, exactly. <laughs> Heathrow <laughs> Airport, that's my tolerance Sounds break. about right. <laughs> right, <laughs> Steph, is that your it's your tolerance well, break? Well, you don't fly well, anymore, well, but yep. Well, once yeah, upon a time. That would have been a limit for yep. sure. Well, I think the RSO might change that, right? The RSO yeah. may change this. <laughs> wow. <laughs> No, and, but yeah, and, that was my yeah. my longest tolerance break ever. Well, not ever. Look, okay, when 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 um when I was in Panama for some spiritual purposes, I was down there for a month. Like for the reasons I was up there for, I didn't smoke. So that was a month, and then when I came home, it took me about a week to get back in. So. That was probably in 1997, maybe, oh. 98. And then after that, yeah, it's been the Heathrow. flight, the flight yeah, overseas. Heathrow yeah. Heathrow. yeah, yeah, man. You know what I was saying? What I think it, it the negative, not negative. First of all, if you're going to take a tolerance break, I'm not telling you not to. The reason I don't do it is because what you just said. Three days later, you're at full capacity like you were before you stopped. Full I, blown out. Full blown. You need five, ten joints at a time. Oh, like, my God. That's why I don't do it. Because, when, yeah. Because when, of that. When I got back from Panama and I <laughs> tried it. to smoke with the homies, yeah. I was getting blown out that first For week. For sure you definitely like, were. But a week later. But a week later, I was right back, back in. But like that first week, it was like I had oh, never yeah. smoked that weed before. That's for sure. It was like foreign to my system. Yeah, definitely. Oh, that's, why I took, that's why I took my time. I I didn't rush into it. I didn't smoke. You know, I I was like doing like half a joint, if that, and then put it down and just like relax with that high. Yeah. When I quit the alcohol and the, and the drugs, I quit everything. So I stopped the weed too, because I was like, all right, let me stop everything at one time. And even the cigarettes, I had quit quit it all. And then as soon as I made it, like I think it was like two months or three months without any of the alcohol and shit, I was like. I need my fucking weed back. I was like, I'm not gonna make it. Like I knew it. Like yeah. I'm. Uh, you see me? I'm like a crackhead with weed. Meaning I need something. So pick something that's not gonna screw my life up. That I don't make poor decisions from. You know, like there's there's no bad outcomes except for of course. You know, if, if you just smoke weed and no cigarettes, you're not really killing your lungs like that. It's the cigarettes that kill your lungs. True that. It really is. Best thing yeah. about returning from somewhere would be. The pickup, you know, either I'd either have a pen or a joint. Either way, get home, have a few dabs. Life was great. Always on. It was the best thing coming home. Word I up. knew no matter what I was getting, wherever I was at, I was coming home to greatness. Some goodness. <coughs> All Man. right. Sounds. And we got Sven up in here saying, "Happy New Year, got Happy New Year's, guys. Be safe and let's do this." Yes, yeah, oh, Sven. Yeah. Happy New Year. Yeah. Yes, sir. I like that. And we got J Max C saying, "Shout out to everybody! Another great year for the Doctor Greentham Show. Thanks for all y'all do. Happy New Year to Be Real TV in the fifty one fifties. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year, bang New Year. And we got Happy Up New is year. Down saying, "Yo, what up, snacks? Eep. Eep. Okay, baby. <laughs> Just pimping, pimping. He's pimping. He's pimping." We got Todd Watson up in here saying, thank you so much. Love and happy new year, fam. Party one, two, three. Party one, two, three, papa. Happy yeah. new year, Todd Watson. And shout out to Brian Field for the super chat. Thank you so much. Yes, thank sir. Thank you, Brian. Much love to you, man. We appreciate when uh, y'all just send those 
don't knows, man. Um, much love to you for that. And we got Hybrid Cypher up in here saying, so much love to Cali Cowbell Blaze the Destroyer. What the hell that means? Oh, because I killed Cowboy? that guy's Cowbell? Cowbell. What the fuck that means? Bell Cali Blaze. Cowbell Blaze, huh? Aww. The yeah. Destroyer. The Destroyer. Wow. I'm killing cowbells? <laughs> Dad, yeah, that wasn't the last cowbell now, so I did fuck that guy's cowbell up. Yeah. Thank see? you for that, by the way, up there. <laughs> nice work. Boom, bang. Yeah. Now that was the last so far. Bam. And we got Marbell up in here. Marbellito. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, <laughs> damn, Colton put it down. You don't get no nicknames. <laughs> oh, 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 boy. Oh, quick, though. Ouch. He's like, nope, he you don't nope. get nicknames. He's saying nothing will help Colton with his English or Spanish. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. He makes Oswald Bates look smart. <laughs> to be oh, honest, oh, B, man. let me take his job. I'll make <laughs> his mom proud. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's pretty good. That's pretty good, dude. <laughs> he said, I'll make his mom proud. Oh. <laughs> I had to look up Oswald Bates there for a second. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he scored oh, quite. Oh. Bro, that guy was the greatest character ever. That was one of the best characters. If you Google dude. that and listen to the words, he, the ramifications of the proclamation, he just, oh, the. the Equal the ejaculation. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's true. And then him and Keenan would do it back and forth like they were in jail sometimes out there. There's like a conversation that's, going. Oh, that's it, not Keenan. It's one of the craziest it bits. Was so yeah. great, David Allen Greer, though. Oh it man, was, it was too good. Yeah. That's who that was. Yeah. No, that was uh, David. Uh, no, that was um, that was Keenan Keenan's brother Damon right there. Yeah, but no, the Brestis was. Oh yeah, that was that's him. David yeah. Allen Greer. Yeah, but he would David be in that skit. Though. Yes, he would. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. they'd both that's be. Oh, he's yeah. big Brestis. That show is. Didn't she have that big Brestis? <laughs> this guy you're talking about? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's him. And he always brought it up. He still works. <laughs> like, oh. he still does a lot of stuff right now, Dev David Allen Greer. Good he's hilarious. He's you dead. know, he's a third degree black belt in Taekwondo. Is he? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. no way. We trained in, in one of the same spots for a time. And that's that's where, like, I met him. And that, you know, like, we recognized each other and there, you know, became yeah. cool. That's when I knew he was in the martial arts. It's dope. Yeah. Yeah, man. That, that was one of the greatest shows. The first three years of that yeah, show that, was so great. It was great. First three years, probably the best show. We're heard. Big processes. And we got Mike up in here saying the lottery number call outs got me laughing. Also, Bolton, Deja, Hab Deja, De Hablar, <laughs> Espanol, Por Favor. Deja. Deja. Mm -hmm. Deja. Deja. Deja de hablar español. Hablar. 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 No. Deja silent. Yeah, you don't. Yeah. Hablar. Oh. So, what so we got deja de hablar español, por favor. Yes. There we go. Yeah. Improvement. He said, stop speaking Spanish. <laughs> Man. Please. <laughs> He did say please. Yeah. yeah. He did say please. Though. And we got White Rhino up in here saying, big shout out to the table. Happy New Year's from me and my fiance. And she's saying, <laughs> B and THC, thanks for the work you put in on the show. C, I love your work. Callie, you're a good cunt. <laughs> Death, Thank same you. team. Bobo, we'll see you guys in March. <sighs> yeah. I'll see you yeah. in the portal. I'll, say, yeah, I'll see you there. <laughs> I'm too. Yes, sir. I'm there. I'm in there. the portal. Oh, yeah. And we got Kelly Green Eyes up in here saying, I'm going to butcher this again. <laughs> yeah. Para la Mesa, oh. Mejor Momento del 2022. Que tangan un ano, un ano nuevo. Gracias por los momentos más divertidos. Wait, can Divert I see where you're at? <laughs> yeah, he went, he okay. went way this is, down. Let's have Ray read this one. We're going to be here for a minute. Yeah, oh, yeah. This All right, is, here we go. Here, let me uh, this is a Ooh. great end of the year. Para la mesa. For Mejor the momento de 2022. Que tengan un año nuevo. Wow. Y gracias por los momentos más divertidos. What he said. You had it. You were right there. <laughs> yeah. Really real cool. You were right there. You just skipped through años and said años again. Anos yeah. again. Anjos. I'll work on that on the next lesson. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whenever you see the little thing above the N, it's ña. Ña. Oh, I knew that because... Uh, because you taught me that with uh, cumpleaños. Yeah, well, you didn't. <laughs> but they didn't, they didn't have the thing above the end here. <laughs> oh, they didn't. No, okay. yeah. Say that Anios. again. <laughs> Años. Cumpleaños. You said that so proud. Años. Cumpleaños. <laughs> like, 
Yeah. All right. And we got J Max T up in here saying, I'll take a round of farts, please, and thank you. Yeah. But. You where to find them? At the what? Lomita Ale House. Lomita. The other one that said Lomita. Bots, 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 yeah, bots, yeah, bots. He's man. right there waiting Lomita? for you. He's right there waiting for you. That's right. What do you mean? He Can says we... he's bench pressing 350 this Saturday. Oh, he's yeah, right. pressing shit. He's bringing it to the to the Loma de Ale House. I don't. He ain't doing nothing. Yes, he yeah, is. Yeah. He Dude. said he's going to be in a unitard and he's going to lift it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the fact he posted it, I thought was like, whoa. That was brave of him. Very brave. So brave. He really. Yeah. God bless him. That I mean, great. that's the fact that he didn't have anyone <laughs> spotting him. No, either. Spotting no him. man. So he was really confident that he was going to be able to do that. I got this. He, I got this. So let me. <laughs> Place the camera right oh, here. Fuck. Show you guys. And I'm going to show you guys my strength. Right. Well, we saw the strength. If he smoked Next. a wet joint, though, could he possibly do that? Yes. It's possible then. He right? would have raised like five of those plates. <laughs> All right. Next. And we got Tito the Fool up in here saying, I got so drunk, I peed in the corner of my friend's living room. Oh. He had to mop it up with the same mop he slapped my face with. Oh. oh. What? He, wait, he slapped you in the face with a piss mop is what he said? Yeah. Nope. <laughs> Good that's job. How, that's that a was, hey, that man. was for pissing in the corner. Yo, yeah. I, mean, I don't know how to take that because, like, look, man, if you pissed in my house, I'll slap you with that mop. <laughs> yeah. But if you slap me with that piss mop, we're definitely fighting. Yeah. I mean, fighting. No question. I know no I pissed question. in your house. I get it. And I understand why you hit me with that mop, but do understand why I'm striking you back. Why I'm going to have yes, to retaliate. I must retaliate. You can't just hit me with a piss mop. You cannot. Slam that's pretty it. fucking. That's, that's nasty. It is nasty. On both ends. Oh, sure is, man. All right. And we got Midget Mike up in here saying, let's get a cowbell and why not a moment of chaos? What the fuck does that mean? Three, two, one. Man, he wants to fuck that lemonade. You think going to 2023 ain't fuck that lemonade? Fuck that lemonade all day, man. On sight, on that lemonade, bitch ass. Boom. Lemonade. Boom. Psh. Ow, I burned myself. Oh. See, that's how hot it was, yo. That's Literally a good ender to the mm. chaos. Right. Next and we got Todd Carnifax up in here saying, Happy New Year to the whole Be Real TV crew. Thank you for making two hours every day the best to chill and relax. Bring <laughs> on 2023. Well, thank you yes. very much. Relax. We appreciate yes. that. Relax it's on this two-hour show, baby. Yeah. And we got Utah Hawk up in here saying, Thanks for a great year of shows, guys. Cypress Hill on 2022 was fire. Tank Tone, The Hill ended up with a few shows in August, but I will be coming down. And yo, Bobo, game day, game day, game day, buddy. Happy New Year and go Utes. We're still waiting on some of your meals <laughs> to come down here, Utah. Hawks. Game day, game day, game day. Don't you do that and come down with some food. Some of that, Ooh, that, that breakfast food, roll for some sure. That breakfast I, mean, I want roll. that breakfast roll. We're yep. waiting on that breakfast roll. That would be game yeah. day. You right. could say that all day if you yeah. want. All right, next. And we got Hybrid Cypher up in here saying, love to the whole table. Hell yeah. Love to you, Matt. Yes, sir. Love you, guy. And we got OG oh, Skate Show up in here saying, happy New Year's to the table. Party one, two, three. Happy party New Year's one, two, to you. Three. Yeah, party one, two, three. Happy New Year's, Skate Show. And we yeah. got Roger up in here saying, happy New Year's 2023. Be Real TV and crew 5150s, all positive vibes. Yeah, happy Salute. New Year. Yes, sir. And we got Karina up in here saying, hey, Colton. <laughs> Anyo means anus, and Anyo is year. Anno means anus. Anno, Anno. yeah. Anno. He didn't, he didn't Anyo. Yeah. Didn't even... Anyo <laughs> means year. Anyo. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> Damn. You say Anno, you talking about anus. anus. No, it's anus. <laughs> An anus. Anus. <laughs> Colton's having a hell of a last show for 2022, you know? <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, he's learning. He's learning. All right. So he says. Next. Oh, and we yeah. got Love Dim Killers up in here saying, just wanted to wish everyone on the show in the Insane Asylum a happy new year. Party one, two, three, and see y'all next week. Word hell up. yeah. Hell yeah. And we got Marbell back up in the mm -hmm. super chat saying, I had one beer, two beers, three beers, a shot of whiskey, a shot of fireball, a margarita, a white Russian, a crippy Mary Colton still. I don't know what he's saying here. He's saying a crippy Mary Colton money sign still can't read. He's probably just drunk after all them drinks. That's a lot of drinks. Goddamn, Marbell. He actually stole that from the uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh, okay. I had a beer. Your I grandson is off the hook oh. today, bro. 
Hey, that's my stepson. <laughs> okay, my your grand, grand your grand stepson. Uh, I'm, I, the... I was talking to Cali oh, Blaze oh, since he's your father. He said, "Hey, All right, man. next." <laughs> And last one up here so far that I see is we got J Max C saying, I meant a moment of chaos with Bart's grunts. Oh, three, two, one. Come on. Come on, man. Come on, man. Oh, fuck. I'll just stay right here. All right. And that seems to be it. We want to thank you for <laughs> all those. Um, yeah, those. Yeah, those. <laughs> all those. Right there. Oh, um, and, and thank you for spending time with us. Uh, make sure you check out the mix right after this on Twitch. Be underscore real TV is the place. Come get down for the last mix of 2022. Whoop. Be real TV. All right. <laughs> um, we invite you, man. And uh, <laughs> once again, man, thank you for your energy. Thank you for your love and support. Uh, it's it means everything to us to spend this time with y'all. So, um, salute and blessings to y'all. C minus. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone here at the table for an amazing stellar year. Being at this table with you guys is uh is the highlight of you know is just of the of the day you know. And I appreciate you all. Uh, appreciate everyone out there that hangs with us and chooses to be here with us while we uh. Have a blast. And everyone that tunes into my morning mixes on Twitch, I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, shout out to, to the Kitchen Sink crew, the 5150s, uh, the Insane Asylum. Shout out to everyone that ever bought a piece of merch. Shout out to my beautiful mom, my sister, my son, um, <coughs> yeah, my nieces and nephews, and everyone that's just here. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go do this last mix. And tomorrow, oh, yeah, tomorrow I'm going to do a New Year's mix. I'm going to stay home yes. and just... Come party with me at 10 p.m. tomorrow on Twitch. All right. And uh, Eric Bo Bizzle. All right. Uh, catch me on the socials on Twitter at Eric Bobo and IG at Eric underscore Bobo on uh, Discord uh, on Bobo's Corner and also on uh, Social Club. I also want to say uh, and wish everyone a happy new year. Thank you for the good year 2022. <laughs> we will have a better one next year. And uh, thank you all for the support, all the love. And uh, peace out to everybody. Team Icon represent always. Thank you to the people that came out and uh, peeped in the little Discord thing that uh, Kelly Blaze and I did today. And I will be doing that uh, more often. And uh, that's it. Snacks and I wish you a happy new year. And thank you for your support. <laughs> Next one. Shout out to the Insane Asylum. Thank you guys so much. Shout out to Ray Morning Shot Films. Shout out to The Dominator. Hope you're doing good, man. And also, don't forget about the Funky Field Tip Drop that's happening in 16 minutes from now. We got the Blue Dream coming in the classic fatty and high mm. roller size. Dropping at today at 420. So check them out. What's going on, Blaze? Or Steph Tone, Steph. I mean. Yeah, shout out Mark Sargent, Karen B., David Weiss, Kelly Blaze, B., C-, minus, Bobo. Uh, Bolton, Ray Ray, Morning Shot Films, Taryn at Velvet Hammer, uh, The Dom, Pedro, Aton, Kenji, all you out there in the uh, Asylum, the 5150s, the Twitch Ward, and the Discord uh, Discordies. You all have a happy new year. Stay safe, and uh, we'll see you all in the, in the new year next week. Cali Blaze. Happy New Year's, motherfuckers. I mean, keep it nice <laughs> and easy, man. That's to everybody. What Discord, do you mean? And Discord and saying that. Happy New Year's, motherfuckers, to my family, everybody who worked, helped us out this year, you know, it, it, a lot, we, we had a lot going on, uh, uh, building out a new spot that I'm mad excited about talking about, but we're not done yet, so I'll keep my mouth shut, but for everybody, thank you so much for all the support for all of us this year, we all, we all appreciate it, much love, see y'all next year, peace. <laughs> get it the fuck off me. Who's running the cameras up there? What the fuck you are we doing? You want to get that little extra. <laughs> fuck that, 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 last, that last one. That was good. That was good. That was really good. Bring it in <laughs> for the hug. <laughs> because I'm sending y'all love and positivity. And I wish you good health, prosperity, and love going into the new year. Believe in yourself. Invest in yourself with that belief that you can do what you set out to accomplish.
Give yourself this gift because this is the most powerful gift that you could give yourself is the belief in yourself to do the things that you want to do. See yourself doing this. Believe it. Put the work into it. And it will manifest. Stay with love. Love is the key. No boof energy. Swallow that. Real. TV.